Right, hello everybody. Just about two o'clock, so we'll give it another minute. Hopefully everything sounds okay. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I don't normally do Saturday streams, and it's been a long time since I've done a stream or even played a horror RPG Maker game, but people have been asking me to do this, and this is kind of one of the classic games. Uh, this is Miso Definitive Edition, and I really don't know anything about this game, other than the fact it's an RPG Maker and it's a horror game. Uh, Right off the bat, looks kind of creepy. The art style's cool, but creepy. The music is like kind of giving me circus vibes, uh, <laughs> like creepy circus vibes. So we'll see, we'll see how this ranks up there with the other horror RPG maker games that I've played, but it's come very highly recommended by people. So we will see. Uh, so it doesn't seem like it's super long, so we might be able to knock this out in one playthrough, one stream. Um, so let's get it. All right, everybody say hi in the chat. Seems like it's going to be good. Apparently this is going to be funny. I, okay, I wonder why. I, I don't know. Oh, interesting. Oh, we can actually select... Oh, interesting. I'm guessing this is probably what makes this a definitive edition. Kind of like with like Persona Portable, where it's like... I'm guessing the original didn't have the choice to have a male or a female protagonist. Um, okay, so how do I actually... Oh, this is already... Oh, there we go. I was like, oh no, I'm already having trouble even selecting my protagonist. Well, of course, we're gonna choose the female protagonist, Obs. Uh, okay, so we can give our character- oh, she's cute! We'll give her- of course, we'll call her Rose. Um, oh no. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm gonna assume the top one means yes? Confirm. Cancel. Okay. Thank you. I was a little concerned there. I'm like, oh no. This game contains frightening elements. Young children in the faint of heart should refrain- well. I am a little faint of heart, but I think we will be okay. I was a little worried there. I was like, well, some of it's in English and some of it is not. Help. Damn, I think it was like, I don't know if the last time I've had so many people, like, right from the beginning in the chat. Uh, so people are excited for me to play this and people are looking forward to it. So that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Find me. Uh... Miso, is that you, Miso? Miso. Was was I dreaming? I thought I heard Miso. I guess it was just a dream. Has it been three months? Oh no, it's so late. I'm gonna be late for school. Miso never stood out too much in our class. Oh, I've got tea delivery. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Because it's, uh, it's going to be a spooky game. I need my tea to calm me down and 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 make me feel relaxed. <laughs> Miso never stood up too much in our class. She was just an, a normal girl, really. I wasn't too close to her, but I was always curious about Miso. They're on her lonesome. Or onesome. Is that right? <laughs> I hoped I could be her friend, but that didn't happen. So, obviously, something happened to Miso. I'm guessing she probably... Took her own life, I'm guessing. That's usually how these games tend to go, I find. Or maybe it was no more nefarious. Maybe someone killed her. Or she went missing. Three months ago, Misa went missing. She wasn't coming to school, and she hasn't come home either. So it's unknown. She never seemed the type to flee home. Our parents were saying she might have gotten involved in something. Well, I'm off. Rumor in our class was that Misa was long dead by now. Ah, <laughs> my Sailor Moon mug. That This is like, this is basically my streaming mug. Uh, this is like my only kind of nerd mug. I want to get more mugs, like different nerd mugs, but this is like my classic one. I've had this thing for like six years. The rumor in our class was Misa was long dead by now. I really hope they're wrong. I wanted us to be friends. Find me. So they said it's been three months. I wonder if this is like... I'm guessing shit's gonna start going down in this, like, you know, on this day. So maybe it's like three months since she disappeared. And I'm guessing that that empty chair desk in the back was where Miso sat. Uh, Karata, as you see here, and so as a result... He's creepy looking. Oh, Mr. Karata is always such a stud. Really? I, I don't see it. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way he's drawn, but he's like, he's giving me bad vibes. 
That voice I heard in my dream. Is that Nisa? You got guts to ignore my lecture. Eek! This information will be essential for the test, so you'd better listen. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I was like, oh, okay, so the teacher's getting on my case about, about not paying attention. Like, I just noticed there was a dude in the back who was like, I'm pretty sure he was eating something. So I'm just like, okay, I'm getting singled out here. Alright, uh, Ayaka? You guys let me know if I'm mispronouncing the names here. Mr. Kurata has a new suit today. Like, whoa, super suave. Ayaka, you've been talking him up all morning. Don't you ever get tired of blabbing? But he's such a ladies' man. He's so nice and smart and the best. Oh yeah, gotta put on some hand cream. Do, do, do. Did you hear? Because I did. There's a rumor Mr. Kurata has a thing for hands. Eww. Immediately, I'm like, why do I have a feeling that the teacher is not as, like, nice and cool as Ayaka thinks that he is? Why do I have a feeling? Thing for hands is we're gonna find out he's got, like, a drawer full of chopped up hands of his students or something. So maybe if I clean my hands constantly, every day, all the time, he'll like me more. I can't- I can't help it. Whenever these things happen, I assume the worst of, like, all the characters because with these types of games, it always gets a little bit effed up, so I'm like, yeah, you can't- you can't blame me. I don't really care, Ayaka. I don't really care, she says. Ha, you've got no eye for men, Rose. Seriously, what do you see in a seducer like Toma? I, I never said I liked anybody, I just think he's kind of cool, that's all. Really? <laughs> yes, really. Uh, Yoshino. Yoshino? Hey, she's- She's got a cool, does like, I don't know why, I kind of like the art style of her specifically. Maybe it's the hair, but I'm like, she looks kind of bitchy? <laughs> there I go, making assumptions about people. Hey, there's been some spooky paranormal business going on at this school. I'm getting a little freaked myself. Oh, there's Toma, there's the guy that apparently my character has a crush on, or not. Paranormal, my ass. I'm for real. It's for real. The other day, a kid in the other class got dragged away in the bathroom. Uh, kudo. There was also the incident where the lights in the gym suddenly fell. Luckily, no one was injured, but they're still not sure what happened. Gotta be ghosts. Eek, I'm scared. Oh, I missed out what that girl's name was. Uh, ghosts, huh? Dumbass. Those ain't things even- those ain't things that exist. Alright, well this guy's gonna be a pleasure, I'm sure. Wait, what if this is Misao's curse? Look, this is no time for jokes. But I mean, it's totally possible. It's been three months since she vanished. Then this stuff just suddenly starts? If those events are Misao's curse, then Yoshino will be cursed sooner or later. Hmm? Whatever did I do? Oh, Yoshino, you bullied Misao a lot. Ah! So I was on the- I might have been on the right track when I said she seemed like a little bitchy looking. Bullying? Well, I never. I was just making a little fun. Yeah, seems like mean girl. And Toma, you always screwed with me, so you're the one who's gonna get cursed. Okay, so we're dealing with maybe some not-so-nice people here. Me? I'm fine, because Miso fell for me. I wonder about that. Uh, Satome. Toma, I'm scared. I mean, I'm your girlfriend, so Miso might have a crush. Ooh, maybe some drama going on between these people. Don't sweat it, Atome. I'll protect you. Aw, you're so sweet, Toma. Huh, believe what you want, lovebirds. Misao, please don't curse us. The rest are fair game, though. Oops, did I say that out loud? Ooh, here we go, here we go. So right off the bat, I'm like, this is kind of the opposite of, like, Corpse Party, where the characters are actually quite likable. Um, these people are like, mm, I don't <laughs> at least a couple of them, I'm like, oh, they're gonna be a pain. An earthquake? <laughs> just like Corpse Party, an earthquake, and then is everything just gonna collapse? What? It got dark real quick. What the heck's going on? Maybe, just maybe, it really is Misao's curse. Oh, Misao's real mad at us, so, like, Misao's got a bone to pick with probably everybody here. My character seems okay. Like, she seemed like she wasn't close with Misao, but, like, didn't have any, any, like, issue with her. Shut up! What the hell? I was just kidding about that curse crap. Rose? Help. Oh. Miso? Miso. Maybe... Maybe because I was one of the few nice people to her, someone that, like, wasn't picking on her actively, that, like, she's asking me to help her. I can hear her speaking to me. 
Well, hey, that's gotta be her. Shut it, I don't hear her damn voice. Rose, you're talking crazy talk. I'm not. Ah. Find me. Miso. Ooh, find me, find me, find me, find me, find me. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, here we go. Maybe we'll end up in a different, like, version of the school or something. Because it seems to be the trope with these games that take place, like RPG makers. Games that take place in a high school, even though I've barely played any. I've really just kind of played the corpse party. Ugh. Okay, so it is seems to be the same class classroom. Uh, it's, this is still the classroom, right? I mean, it could be like a different version of it. Uh, yes, this is my first time playing it. I like. I've ne like I've heard of this game. I've heard of this game. People recommended it to me. But yes, this is my first time playing it. What the heck happened? Oh, I can. Okay, I can move around now. Um. Oh. Oh. What's this? So. Is this a dream? It's so dark outside, I can't see a thing. Okay, so can I look out? Okay. So there's... I've already forgotten what her name is. Um, okay, same thing, same thing. Uh, Yoshino, Misao's curse. Gah, this is not funny. Okay, so let's maybe see. Oh, um, I don't think it's... Oh. I don't know if it's going to let me inspect anything over here. Okay, maybe we just... Oh! Oh! Uh, wait, what? I quick saved? <laughs> I, how? How did... I don't know what happened there. But there's like another place there that I seem to be able to... Like another exit or an entrance or something. So maybe it's just kind of like a... I just have to... There we go. Just work my way. There we go. Perhaps I can investigate stuff here. Nope, maybe not. Okay, so we will leave then. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. The floor is broken, just like Corpse Party. I'm going to try not to say that all the time. I, this isn't Corpse Party. I know it's not. Okay, you can change item list by pressing left or right in the item menu. Okay, how do I access the items? <laughs> I'm not sure what the controls are. They just said the item menu. I'm like, what is the item menu? I don't... Oh, uh, so C is to quick save. I'm just pressing random things on, <laughs> on the keyboard. Uh, okay, oh. oh, okay, okay. Something going on here. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Okay, I recommend saving before touching things. Okay, well, C is to quick save. So I know this. So, yeah. Okay, there. well, I learned that beforehand. Press C or shift to quick save. Quick save data is lost when you close the game for more. Okay, uh, inquire at the library. You can dash by holding down the quick save. Okay, so shift. Oh, uh, it said to hold down the thing for shift, but I'm like, it just made me quick save. Uh, Otome, this way. Yeah! Oh, Rose, geez, it's just you? You should run, okay? This is bad, for serious bad. No, I don't... <laughs> let me, let me look at the thing again, because I just keep quick saving. It said a thing about, like, for sprinting, it said to, like... Hold down, you can dash by holding down the quick save key, which is like either shift or C. But it doesn't seem like. No, I don't want to quick save. I'm... Oh, there we go. So I seem to be going maybe a little bit faster, perhaps? Maybe I should go after Toma and Satome. <laughs> I guess I'm just not going to be quick save, or I'm just not going to be running then. Oh! Well, that definitely seems like a thing we will quick save for, and we'll go over and... Hi! Huh? Miso? Oh! Oh, hello! Hi! Don't lose your head. It's not that big of a deal. Something's coming. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Um, am I not gonna move? I'm not moving. Uh, something's weird here. Okay. Let me run. Let me run. I don't even know how to run. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. Ah. Okay, my character just ran on her own. <laughs> okay, cool. Woo. Okay. And this was Kudo. It's my fault. I'm responsible for everything. So he wasn't very nice to her either. I need to do something. Wait for me, Misao. I'll definitely find you. Except he doesn't seem like he was... Like, he seems like he regrets things. Not like the other people where they were just kind of making fun of her. Okay, so do we go this way or do we follow K Kudo? Um, we'll save and we'll head down. Oh, nope, never mind. That's not happening. I guess we just continue on this way. So I have to hope that Miso doesn't seem to hate me, so hopefully she won't kill me. Wait. Well, okay, can't go that way either. Oh. Was that an illusion? Miso, where are you? Oh. Uh, oh, okay, I just... Huh? Oh, well, so much for Miso not hurting me. Miso. Okay. That happened. <laughs> Find me. Nah, miso. My goodness. Take a take a drink every time. No, actually don't do that. Don't listen to me. Um, take a drink of water. Stay hydrated every time a character says miso. Ah, you finally come too. Who the hell are you? Where am I? And who are you? Okay, this dude looks like, um, he looks like an elf boy. <laughs> oh, who does he remind me of? He reminds me of, um, there's a character in Dragon Age Inquisition, the bald, like, elf man. Like, that's who he reminds me of. Um, I am Onigawara, Onigawara, the student council president, and this is the student council room. Luckily for you, you were tossed somewhere safe. Tossed? After the earthquake, the school was sucked into another world. Of course, of course it was. This force from uh, this uh, sent those inside flying all across the school, sucked into another world. What is that supposed to mean? And why would that happen? Well, it's a curse. It is the result of a girl's curse that this school was sealed in the other world. Yes, thank you, uh, George. Uh, Silas, yes, yeah, Silas from Dragon Age Inquisition. That is the vibe I'm getting from this dude, just like aesthetic wise. It couldn't be Miso? Is it Silas or Sola? Something like that, but yeah, on the right track for sure. Uh, President Onigawara. Pants, pants, finally made it. I thought I was a goner. So you finally return, Miss Library. That's uh, She's the school's vice president, always in the library, so that's what we call her. So then, Miss Library, how does it look? Well, it looks messed up and gunked up and funked up every which way. A foundation and everything is wrecked, and I haven't been able to find any exits. We're locked in. Plus, evil spirits are wandering around and attacking people. I saw a student kill before my eyes. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, this is this is reminding me of Corpse Party. Sorry, I said it again. I'll never be able to eat hamburgers again. Oh, it was frightening. So I see. Thank you for your report. You may retire for now. Can I just stay in this room? It seems cozy. Yes, well, I'm going back to the library. Call me anytime you need me. Evil spirits. The curse must have summoned them here. The school is now a den of spirits, and there's nowhere to run. Ah, uh, not good. There's only one solution. Dispelling the girl's curse. There's surely no other way. How am I supposed to dispel a curse? By saving the girl's soul. Miss Rose, you must know what it is you have to do. I do? Find me. Misa was calling me. I see. So she wants to be found. Mr. Onigawara, I will go look for Misa. So you will. As the library informs me, the school is brimming with evil spirits. Do you still wish to go? I will, because Misa is my friend. Was she? Was she really? Or is this my character is just feeling guilt about maybe not being able to, to help her before she disappeared? Understood. I will entrust you with the fate of the school. I believe you can save it. If you encounter any trouble, pay a visit to library on the second floor. She will no doubt be of aid. And if you wish to make a record, please talk to me. I will do so for you anytime. Ah, okay. You can press C or shift to quick save, quick update. Okay. For more information, inquire at the library. So, 
I pray for your safety. Okay, so I should hopefully be able to save here, like a good save. Like I said, I hope I can do this, knock this all out in one playthrough, but if not, at least I can do like full saves that won't get lost when I shut the game down. Please be wary of evil spirits. While unseen, they can be lurking anywhere. Can I? Okay, there we go. Save. Perfect. Excellent. Right. I don't want to leave the room, but we, we're going to have to. Oh boy, okay. Oh, this is a quite a nice room. Let's see what we've got here. The principal's diary. X, 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 Cloudy. The emergency exit key fell into the vase. Somebody pick it up. Oh, well, there's a vase right here, but let's explore other stuff here first. Oh, wait, uh, people told me that I should probably save before, like, I touch stuff, so we'll do that. I feel like I'm gonna be using that button a lot. Uh, okay, so there's something here. So I wonder if it's this vase that they're talking about. Uh, a vase, it's affixed to the table and can't be moved. When you inspect, inspect, destroy, do nothing. All right, let's inspect. Ow! Got pricked by a rose thorn. Oh. The rose was poisoned. The poison curses through Rose's body. Wait, what? Herc? What the? What? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is why I was told to save before touching stuff. Okay. So this is how it's gonna be, huh? This is how it's gonna be. These, okay. This is like an old school, like, adventure games where it's like, everything is gonna kill you. Good to know. Good to know. All right, well, <laughs> maybe if I keep dying, maybe this will take me more than a c than one playthrough. Uh, maybe we can try destroying it, see if that does anything. Destroy. You'd need something to break it with. Okay, so that doesn't work. All right, so <laughs> we'll be moving on from this room. Ah, true, Rose killed by the Rose. <laughs> ah, the... The irony. Okay, so I, I have to get something to break that vase to get the key. Um, now, do I want to go up or do I want to go down? Whoa! 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 Oh, there's something shiny here. Oh, shoot. I was like, I should have saved. Ugh, thankfully nothing happened. So hopefully when something's shiny, it means it's a it's an item that is important and not something bad. Okay, let's save them. Wait! <laughs> oh my god! Everything I touch! <laughs> I mean, the game lets you know very quickly what kind of game it is. God, imagine if this game didn't have quick save. Like, how, how evil would that be? Ooh. Ooh, hello. Hello, spirit. Hello, spirit. We're just gonna let you... Let you just pass through. Okay, down we go here. Alright, save. <laughs> Ooh. Fire extinguisher. Maybe I can take that and I can break the vase with it. Except I can't. Okay. Never mind. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, hello. What's going on here? Yeah, stay away! Atome! Toma, help! Ugh! Wah! Aw, you baby! Toma! Maybe I'll have to save her. No, no! I have to save her. I need something to drive it away. Uh, um, 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 uh, oh, shit! Um, okay, I accidentally found the thing. Okay, so that was X? Okay, so I know what the, um, oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, is there anything here? This is glowing. What's this? I have to help Satome. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's time. Oh, maybe extinguisher? Okay. Uh, fire extinguisher, perfect. Now I'll get that evil spirit. Okay. Oh, looks like I'm a little late. Satome. How dare you do this to Satome? Take this, monster. Pretty sad that, like, the boyfriend just ran away like a bitch. And I'm the one to have to do something. Oh, and now one of the screens is glowing. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Well, man, the deaths are happening fast. I wonder if I could have saved her. Maybe I did things in the wrong order. Shit. 
Well, I hope I haven't like completely scuffed it up before I've even really started. Um, so we're gonna save before we check because I mean it's glowing red. That does not seem like it's a smart thing to check, but we're gonna do it anyway. I love you so much. I love you lots. My heart melts like chocolate when you cross my thoughts. Listen up, everyone. I got big news. I think you'll agree this one's a riot. What now, Yoshino? Cut the crap and tell us. Well, one of the girls here loves Toma. Huh? Are you confessing to me? You wish it was me. Oh, shit. She is a mean girl. So we got the flashbacks to Misao before she disappeared. And you can see, like, why she's so angry at everybody. It's none other than the simple girl who never stands out. Misao. Huh? Really? Uh, I... Look, Toma's right over there. Confess your undying love. Sure thing. I'll date you, Miso. Huh? I've kind of had a crush on you myself. Toma. Well, we know that he's with the blonde girl who died, so either... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he was just doing this as, like, some sick joke, just to be like, oh, let's give her... You know, let's give her, like, the, the hope that, like, he actually likes her and then humiliate her. Toma. Huh? Tom, are you for real? Misao? Really? You shut your trap. It's none of your business who I'm dating, Yoshino. Let's trade numbers. Okay, I was gonna say. Maybe he actually does have a crush on her, but I'm feeling like this is just some sort of prank. Okay. Uh, Yoshino doesn't seem too happy about that. And then... We got Satome coming in. Whether they were still whether dating at the time. Why did Yoshino spill the beans? Well, not like it matters. Because of that... No, I'm Toma's girlfriend. I should thank Yoshino. Oh, Toma sent me a text. I like you, Misao. Do you like me too? Toma, what? That's so embarrassing. How should I reply? Alright, what's this now? Well, look who's here. Giggle. Oh no, what? What is this? Huh? Misao's grand text reveal. Ugh. It was. I knew it. I knew it, of course. I love you too, Toma. I love you more than anyone in the world. Oh, so it's the poem. Shit. I put my feelings for you into a poem. No, this is- this is all my- I love you so much. I love you lots. My heart melts like chocolate when you cross my thoughts. Or Misa, like, I've just, I'm just learning about her and already I'm like, yeah, I can see why she wants to kill these bastards. This is Yoshino's doing. She must have snuck a look at Toma's phone. She's awful. Yoshino, I know. You like Toma too. You're just jealous. Well, it seems like all the girls like him, including my character. But it will do you no good, because Toma likes me. Oh, no. No, stop it. Of course, of course. Come on, nobody's around. Toma? Jeez, Toma, you pervert. Aren't you the one who put Misao's text on the blackboard, Otome? What? I don't know what you're saying. Who else could have done it? I only showed you, Otome. I didn't do anything. Oh, so now I can see why Misao was going after her, too. Playing dumb, huh? Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm, I'm Team Miso on this. <laughs> like, don't kill my character. My character seems fine. Maybe she's actually a terrible person and we will reveal that later, but like, Miso seems to trust my character. Uh, were those Miso's memories? Okay, so that sucked. That's like one spirit taken. She's going She's going for revenge. She's just like, I'm going to take all of them. I'm going to get back at everybody who hurt me. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. As bitchy as she was, like, yeah, I mean, you don't deserve to die for that. Okay, save. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna make sure that we make that a, a like a reflex. Okay, can't interact with... Oh, oh, creepy. Help. Um, okay, so, there we go, help. Oh! Ah, hello, hello. Ha. 
Okay. A set of paints. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's about what I, it's just about what I expected. <laughs> okay. This is like Corpse Party times a million. Like, yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can die, but like I said, this game, it feels like every second thing you touch will kill you. Ah, oh, shoot, okay. Well, at least there wasn't too much for me to explore there. It was basically just... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we'll inspect that. And I don't know if that does anything, if I have to activate that. And then there's these paints. I don't think there's anything else in the room, as far as I know. I'll take a look around, though. Don't touch the painting. Don't touch the painting. Don't even go near the painting. Okay, I don't think so. All right, moving on. Moving on. Okay, I don't... I haven't been in here yet. Oh! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around, we pretend that- Oh, that's cool! Like, I just noticed that my character, I guess, like, the floor is really dusty. And then as I walk... That's a nice little set of, like, little detail there. Okay, this looks bad. Th all this looks bad, we're gonna save first. I mean, there's literal blood on the seat. I'm- Was this Misao's seat? I thought Misao sat back there. Maybe somebody would- <sighs> Who's- Let's just interact with it. There's writing and blood on the desk. This seat is cursed. Blech. Or or that happens. Okay. Why did me so why did I I thought she liked me. That could just be a random spirit, but <laughs> Oh man, oh man. This is kind of hilarious actually. I can see why you guys were, were saying, like, oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. It's just like, alright, how many ways am I going to die? Whoa! We're just gonna, we're just gonna head back this way. Um, does this go into another room? No, it does not. Okay. Oh, there's something. Oh shoot, I can't get to it. Um, maybe I do have to go this way, and maybe it will drop me down into the other side. Or. Oh. Um. <laughs> or I fall into a toilet. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, shit. Right. So. So this is an important item, but I can't get to it yet. So we'll just have to keep going, I guess. This is actually really funny. Um, have I been this way yet? I'm gonna get so turned around. I have. Okay. I think it's gonna take me a little bit of time to kind of, like, get uh, my bearings around the school. Yeah, Miss Library. You were in the student council room. Um, uh, hi, I'm Rose. Uh, Miss Library? Oh, you remembered my name. I'm so glad. Well, I mean, it's a pretty easy name to remember. How many years has it been since I talked to anyone? Huh? Rose, please be my friend. Uh, already? Oh, you don't want to? Uh, I, f I feel like if I say I refuse, that she's gonna kill me. I I'm sure you guys would want to see that, but, um... Yeah, Screw it. Let's say I refuse. Let's see what happens. She just hits me over <laughs> with the book. Bashes my head in. Uh, I didn't hear you too well. I won't be your friend. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh no, I see. Okay. I guess you wouldn't want to get along with someone like me. Are you sure you won't be my friend? I can't. I can't. Oh, I feel so guilty. I'm sorry, guys. I can't choose the bad choice. I'm not the type of person, when I play games, I, I can't do that. Really? I'm so glad. You're my first friend. Miss Library is kind of awkward, though. I want to know your real name. Well then, Rose, please give me a better name. Yes, I want a most marvelous name. What? Oh gosh, oh gosh, what's it going to be? Well, um... Oh, I can actually... I can actually choose a name for her. Um... I don't know... What's, uh, I'm not really good about being put on the spot like this. Uh, I'm looking at her and she's giving me, like, Polyworld vibes. <laughs> I think it is the glasses, Polyworld. 
Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's a wonderful name. From now on, call me Poliwhirl. Friend, that sounds good. Well, I have to go. Things to do and all. Rose, if you ever have trouble, please come visit me. I don't know how useful I'll be, but I'll do what I can to help. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's talk to her. What can I help you with? Oh, I can get hints. Cool, let's do that. Because I feel like this might be kind of a tricky game. Because there's just so many ways that you can lie. Or lie, die. <laughs> to dispel the curse, you have to offer six keys hidden around the school at the altar. You can check your progress with the key item list. I saw a boy bolt from the third floor to the first. Was he running from an evil spirit? Oh, those are seeds. You should try and plant them somewhere. Wasn't there a flower pot around here? Oh, she's giving me a lot of tips, actually. Uh, let's just talk to her. The president is more playful than you'd think. He's always pulling childish tricks. It can be a real bother. Okay, maybe I can do some exploring around here. There's this thing here. Oh, great. Beforehand? Let's quick save. Let's quick save. I want to read this. This seems important. When you X someone, what do you use? Me? I did it with a bat. It was exhilarating. Oh, okay. Interesting. There are some sheets of note paper. Flat as a pancake. Looks like some kids scribbles. Are they talking maybe about Miso being like flat as a pancake? Flat as a pancake. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay, never mind. It was me being flat as a pancake. <laughs> oh my god, that actually made me jump. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Damn, this game shows no mercy. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around here. Oh, there is, too. Ooh, this is kind of a creepy room. Cute and creepy at the same time. Found a parody of a foreign fairy tale, The Lazy-Eyed Ranger. Uh, sure, let's read it. And the lazy-eyed ranger said, Thanks for the tasty sweets, Jack. I'll give you the power of curses. Man, I could go for some sweets. This ranger guy's making me hungry. I gotta say, my girl is, um, she's taken to this quite well. She doesn't seem overly bothered by stuff. Portrait of a beautiful woman. Nope, not that. Oh, the flower pot! That's right! Uh, she said the seeds. A flower pot. Nothing's been planted in it right now. Um, okay. Was X? Okay, perfect. Hey, there we go. Spread the seeds. Nothing is budded yet. Okay. Maybe I just have to give it some time. I'll probably have to, like, get some water or something. Okay, so we'll save. And, uh, hopefully... Hopefully that is all for now. Oh, well, that's... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's concerning right off the bat. <laughs> Alright, I suppose. This feels... Oh, nope. Uh, this feels like gonna, it's gonna be an instant death, so... There's something inside the locker. Oh, it's the teacher! Karata. Pants, pants. Thank goodness. Unbelievable. I passed out after that quake, and I came to locked in a locker. It seems it's designed not to be opened from the inside. Oh, something shining. The school looks odd. I'm going to look around. Teacher, it's dangerous here. Oh, okay, he's just like, peace out. Barely talked to me, cool. Good to see you too, you're welcome. <laughs> he went, is he going to be okay? Something's inside the locker. Uh, it's a locker key, the teacher must have dropped it. Okay. I'm trying to think if I come across any lockers. Oh. Damn it, I hit shift. I mean, it's never a bad thing, I feel like, to, to quick save anyway, but I'm going to be hitting that a lot by accident. Oh, maybe one of these will open it up. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Cool, dead body. That's, that's cool, that's cool. Okay, nothing here. Something's coming. Oh. 
Oh, cool. We got a dude with a fucking chainsaw. Oh, that's great. So we've got like scissor man vibes now. Okay. That guy was carrying around a chainsaw. I'd be pretty much helpless if that guy came after me. She's not going to mention anything about the apparent dead body in the locker? Okay. Uh, oh, no! I want to pick that up. Got a CD-ROM. Oh, pff. I should have known. I should have known that that was like a, a laser. Of course. Oh, man, oh, man. All right, well, can't go that way right now. Wait, let me see. Hold up. Oh, I don't... <sighs> don't want to hit save. Um... See if there's anything else here. I don't think so. Okay. So... They said something about a boy running from the first floor, so let's go down to the first floor. Oh wow, there's a lot of rooms here. Okay, so that looks like cafeteria. Uh, we've got like an infirmary. I don't know what this is. Oh shit. Uh, stop saving. Oh! that way. Ayaka, thank goodness you're safe. So this girl actually seems to be like my friend. Uh, Rose, you're just in time. Now's the chance of a lifetime. Since nobody's around, we're free to look in Mr. Kurata's desk. Wow. Wow, this girl. Priorities. Oh, come on. This is no time for that. Look at what's happening to the school. I thought my character was unbothered by stuff. Look, top drawer. Packed with love letters to Mr. Kurata. I don't understand why everybody seems to be like so infatuated with him. He's... I don't... I find him kind of creepy looking, to be honest. <laughs> Who dares? Who is it that dared to send love letters to my Mr. Karada? Let's find out what they wrote. Ayaka, that really doesn't matter right now. Let's get somewhere safe. No way. Not until I see it all. And I haven't even looked in the bottom drawer. You can pass up the... You can pass up the opportunity, but I won't. Fine. What do I care? I love you so much, teacher. I want to wash your underwear. <laughs> Who? Who sent Mr. Karata the stupid letter? Hmm? What is this at the end? From teacher's favorite, Ayaka. And she's like, oh. <laughs> oh. How do you not remember writing that? Or is that like your kind of innermost thoughts? Karata's desk. Oh, maybe, maybe there was going to be a drawer full of hands. Like I said, I was like, what if he's got just like a bunch of disembodied hands or something? Okay, well, there's blood there, um, so we're just gonna save. Whenever there's, like, little things of blood, I'm like, okay, something's gonna happen here. Oh! Well, hell- Oh! God damn God I, I knew something was gonna happen, and it still got me, because I thought I was gonna open up the locker and something was gonna happen, not it was going to crush me. Oh my goodness. This fucking gay man. Okay, so we're just gonna- I don't know if I have to open these lockers. I feel like I should interact with everything. Um, so what if I just, can I, if I go, there we go. <laughs> hey, I've got a, I've got a key. There we go, locker key, sweet. Hey, I love when shit's figured out. The cracked cell phone. Now we go around this again. <laughs> oh man, guys, all right, you guys are right. This is actually kind of hilarious. You know, it happens so often. Oh, uh, hmm. Okay, we're just gonna walk by that. It happens so often, and the game is nice enough to give you the quick save that you can't even really be too mad at it. It's not like you lose, like, oh, you know, I lost 20 minutes of progress or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, that is, uh, what's his face? Ooh, shudder. To Toma or something? Yeah. Eek. He is such a weenie. I mean, yeah, it's like a pretty freaky situation, but I love the fact that he played all tough. And then just like, he's the biggest baby of all of us. Toma. Rose, d don't scare me like that. You always struck me as tough, but I guess you're actually a coward. Say what? So, Satomi's so dead. Atome. Did, did you even give a shit about her? Wow, it ain't my fault. Immediately, immediately, like doesn't even care. He's just like, ah, it's not me. I didn't do nothing wrong. It's all Misao. Damn it, Misao's gonna kill me too. Help me, Rose. You help me then. We'll save Misao together. 
Huh? Don't be fooling. It's Misao's fault all this happened. Why the hell do you want to save her? So you would rather cower here forever? Because I don't care what happens to you. Laters! <laughs> wait, wait up. Okay, I'll do whatever. Help with anything. Just don't leave me alone. Alright, just don't fall behind. My character is more of a badass. Yeah, okay, let's go. Hey, so we've got somebody in the party now who's completely useless. Cool. Ooh! That was... Oh, yeah! Toma? <gasps> oh, wow, that was fast. We've already got two people dead? Toma. Toma, stay with me. Okay, he's not dead yet. Ah, ugh, ugh. Good, he's still breathing. I have to get him treated. Uh, I guess maybe go to the infirmary? Okay, let's just save first, though. Oh. Oh, uh, Ayaka and Mr. Karata. Uh, help. Ayaka? Calm down. The monsters are gone, Ayaka. What happened to Ayaka? She's in a panic after being attacked by a monster. Ayaka, you were attacked? This is why I told you to escape somewhere safe. I don't know about that. I feel like they got caught maybe doing something, and she's saying help? I'm almost wondering if she- but then again, she has a big crush on the teacher, but I'm wondering if maybe he was- doing something weird and i walked in and she's saying like don't help me from the monsters help me from him because like i'm getting bad vibes um this is why i told you to escape somewhere safe hold on she should stay here and rest i don't know if i want to leave you alone with her my dude but don't worry i'll be with you that's the problem look at this face man like i don't want to like make assumptions but i'm totally making assumptions all right i'm counting on you to look after ayaka i'll look around here some more Wait a moment. I think I have tr a tranquilizer on my desk in the faculty room. Could you bring it to me? It may help her calm down a little- No, that is giving me real big ick vibes. No, I don't want you to tranquilize a girl and be left alone with her. Be careful. Don't you dare die out there. After all, you are one of my dear students. Okay, whatever. Sir, thank you very much. Do you call the guys your dear students, or is it just the girls? Either way. I don't like- this. I don't like this. An atom uh, anatomical model staring at it creeps you out. I should learn from Corpse Party uh, games that I should not just walk up to the anatomical model. I'm surprised it didn't attack me, to be honest. Hey, good point. Good point. Why does he have tranquilizers? What? Yes, thank you. That is- I didn't even think about that. That is a very- Uh... Uh, we're just gonna- <laughs> We're just gonna pretend we didn't see that. Woo. Okay. I guess I should probably explore that. I did save, right? You guys talking about uh, blind run, no quick saves? No way. Are you insane? I'm gonna do all the saves. I'm the person who it auto saves and I will manual save afterwards. This is, um, hmm, they're not even like, okay. They're not even noticing I'm here. An electric grater, it could probably grate something as big as a radish. It's a very specific thing to say. And my character seems very nonplussed about this also. A vending machine. I'm in a mood for some tea, but I don't have the money. <laughs> that's that's what she cares about right now. Uh we're gonna save. <laughs> this seems very suspicious. Eat the food? Every part of me is screaming no, but we will. Delicious, you can't stop. I'm totally eating human meat. I want to eat more and more. Seconds, please. That's like the stereotype of these games and, and the thing is like, once you're like you're eating human meat, it's like you become insatiable. You can't stop. <laughs> I just ate myself to death. Did I, did I just eat myself to death? Your stomach got too bloated to move. You're getting sleepy. I mean, not the worst way to die? Of all- Oh, okay, I'm gonna be the next. At least I was out for it. Like I said, probably of the deaths, that's probably one of the least bad ones. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling peckish. A hamburger lunch, please. I guess I do feel like having hamburgers again after- <laughs> I so don't regret calling her Polly World. That is- <laughs> It's so funny. If I do say so myself. Whoa, looks delicious. Time to feast. I mean, I, I, I knew 
that was one I knew for sure. I'm like, okay, that's definitely going to be uh, a bad end, and I'm willingly walking into this. Okay, so I am going to the faculty room. I don't want to. I don't want to get the tranquilizers. <sighs> oh, looks like... Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Ayaka's with, with him. And that happened very quickly, too. Like, I was only exploring for a little bit, and then all that happened. Karata's desk. Am I gonna find any other weird shit here? Weird, I don't see any tranquilizer. Um, my... Hmm. Okay. Nothing here. Oh, uh, did I go out this way? Oh, it's just, okay. Um, so we're gonna go back to the infirmary. Oh, uh, uh, what the fuck? Ayaka, what? I left you guys alone for like two minutes. Ayaka, wake up. Ayaka. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect her. A monster appeared out of nowhere. I couldn't do a thing. Damn it. I failed to protect my student. Please, sir, don't be so hard on yourself. It's these evil spirits to blame. We have to do something about them. Yeah, very sus. Wait, you're hurt too. We have to treat this. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. Just do what needs to be done. Right, take this. Hands! 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 Fucking knew it. I found this while looking around. I suggest not looking inside. Oh yes, you just happened to find it, I'm sure. It was not just like in your pocket or something the whole time. <laughs> she visited me the day before she went missing. She had something to talk about. But I was so busy, I didn't have the time to listen to her. What does this have to do with hands, my dude? I know she was pained. I can't help but feel if I had heard her out. She never would have vanished on us. I'm not fit to save her. You're the only one who can. Mysterious bundle. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what? Ayaka's dead. Well, okay. Huh. Um, what should I do at this point? Um, I'm gonna save, actually. It's been a little while since I've saved. Uh, I have- there's Toka, too. Or Toma? Toma. Did I go in here? Oh, that's right. I never really explored this, did I? I don't know if there's anything to explore. Like, I, where the fuck did Toma go? Gross! <laughs> Priorities. What? Okay, look in the toilet. Look in the toilet. Oh, gross. That's it? That was very important. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, he's not in the infirmary. So I've gone to the faculty place. I've gone to the infirmary. Oh, oh! Uh, wait, 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 wait. Save. Save. Board notice. Adorn white lilies. Okay. Now we've got puzzles to deal with. Polyworld, I need help. What can I help you with? Oh, help Toma, please. He's my classmate. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, this should be good. Polyworld, let Toma rest here for a while. The spirits don't seem to come here. What? I can't do this. Not with this mysterious man. He's just my classmate. Toma's not that scary, I swear. Come on, please. Oh, well, if you say so, Rose. Huh. Is this going to be okay? Ugh. Oh, let's check up on our... Nothing's budded yet. Okay. Uh, let's get some hints. Okay, to dispel the curse, you have to offer six keys. Uh, okay. Toma's all parched after the spirit got to him. He should recover if he gets hydrated. The laboratory's security system can be managed from the computer room. Oops, I'm not supposed to say that. Did you see that notice on the 1F Hall bulletin board? What is that code supposed to represent? I suspect it's showing a place in the school or places. Holy shit, she's got a lot. I love this. Thank you, Polyworld. So you planted the seeds in the flower pot in my room. I can't wait to see what kind of flowers grow. Flowers are living things too, so they need nutrients. Okay, that's a whole lot of information there. Okay. Um, so there's the computer room. Oh! Okay, okay. 
Oh! Ah! 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 Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What's going on here? Oh, no. Wait. Okay, I'm just going... Oh, that was freaky. That was freaky. It's just like an endless hallway. Oh, yes. There's here. Oh, right. The laboratory. Okay, so she said that you can... What did she say? You can go into the computer lab and you can disable the security system? Um, security system... Uh, computer lab, I think. Is it up here? Oh, yes it is. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Security system operational deactivation requires protection disk CD-ROM. Oh, perfect. I've got that. Alright. Disable security. <laughs> I wonder what increasing the security would do. There we go. So now we should be able to head to the laboratory. Oh yeah, there was over here too. I can't get to that yet. At some point I'm going to have to go back and figure out a way to get that thing. Oh, that's the bathroom. Um, I think I already went by it, didn't I? That's this way. Okay, I'm starting to kind of get my bearings now. Perfect. So I'm going to save. Oh, hey, hello. Hey, plant enrichment. Excellent. Looks like there's a lot. Oh, Yoshino, help. I don't really want to, to be honest. <laughs> Which page will you read about salt mandrakes about mandrake bombs? Okay, salt mandrakes. Salt mandrakes are made of salt, which can be harvested by rubbing them. Okay. Uh, what was the other thing? No, nope, I want to read the thing about the, the mandrake bombs. Oh, it's this book here. Whoops. I thought it was the notes on the floor. Uh, mandrake bombs are stuffed with gunpowder. When given a blow, they will explode after a few seconds. That's what she said. This explosion is strong enough to destroy even sturdy boulders. Oh, huh? Oh, okay. Mandrake bomb. Easy. An unknown creature sleeps within. Danger, do not drink. <laughs> Well, we're going to save first before we do this. <laughs> it's literally a bottle with a skull on it saying, do not drink. Hmm. I wonder what will happen. <laughs> My character is just an idiot. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was like, I was like, maybe, maybe nothing happened. It feels like you're burning from within. Like, it's one of those things where it looks so obvious that something, oh, that something's gonna happen, and then it doesn't. A test tube sample has escaped. It only just woke up from a long sleep, so I imagine it's weakened, but it's a powerful one. I must find it before any damages occur. Oh, there she is. Hmm. Do I want to help her? Do I really? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Save again. I like how I'm just checking everything out. Like, yeah, 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 I'll get to you in a moment. Hold on. A large bear costume. I wonder what it's like inside. All right, I suppose I'll talk to her. I don't think there's anything else. Okay. Rose, whew, help. Oh, something rattled down there. Help her, I guess. I'd like to help you, but you're always bullying people. Huh? What? What about it? If you promise not to bully the weak anymore, then I'll be willing to help you. All right, geez, sure. I won't do it. Now help me out of here. He's gonna come back if you don't hurry. Who? Eek! He's here! Uh... No, I don't want to be a test subject. If I found, I'd done for. I gotta hide somewhere. I'm like, fuck you, Yoshino. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, jeez. Okay. I guess I, I, I guess I should have expected that. Don't go into the box that's shaking. Hmm. All 
Alright, so I'll have to find somewhere else. Okay, hopefully. I was like, I don't know if there's like a time limit. I don't think I can go in there. I mean, that's clear. Hide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, there's not enough space to hide. Keep trying. Oh no! That didn't work. She's just gonna, like, slice my butt. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, <laughs> he just saw that booty. He went for it. No hesitation. Alright, try this again. I mean, there's the very conspicuous bear thing there. I'm guessing maybe this, like, I can do something with that. Like, it just seems so out of place. And according to you guys in the comments, apparently that's not what the original had. All right, so let's try this. So we'll hide. Because there's something in there. There's something shining in there. Uh, we'll give up. Scalpel. Ah, okay. So maybe... Can I... Yes! There we go. Ah! Uh, cut it open. Cut it open! There we go. Sweet. Get in! Whew! Alright. Please don't notice me. No! Stop it, you! No! I'm sure we're all very heartbroken. So heartbroken. And yet somehow Toma is the one. You think that that would be the one that she'd be like the most angry at. So maybe she's leaving him for last on purpose. Looks like the monster left. Whew. Ugh, I'm covered in blood. Gosh, why is that? This is a costume, right? Yoshino. Oops, I totally forgot about saving Yoshino T. Oh my gosh, my girl is... Ooh, she might be as bad as the rest of them. I love how my character just does not give a shit. Love her. Love her. Misao was at fault, too. As soon as she started dating Toma, she took, a, uh, she took to looking down on me. All I did was punish her for it. Alright, time for a flashback. Now that I think about it, we didn't really get the flashback from, um, did we get a flashback from the blonde girl? Or not the blonde girl. Yes, we did. Yeah, because only the blonde girl and... No, Ayaka died too. We never got a flashback from Ayaka, did we? Maybe it's because she didn't do anything to Miso. I think you're hot stuff now that you're Toma's girlfriend, huh? What are you looking at me like that for? Toma will never want you as his girlfriend after this, Yoshino. What? Bitch. I'm like, what's so great about Toma, to be honest? You got some nerve, Miso. What? Ah, why don't we see how lovey-dovey you and Toma are? What? What are you doing? Let go. Stop. Oh my, Miso. So lewd. I should take a picture. It'll last- Oh no, I should take the- Got her naked and like, is he gonna take a picture and probably just use it to like, humiliate her? Smile, Miso. Say cheese. Oh, jeez. Yeah, she's- I can see why my character was just like, Oh no, couldn't save her. Teehee! What a shame. But then again, this is probably- my character probably had no idea that this had happened. Misa, you dropped your wallet too. Oops, sorry. My hand slipped. I didn't know anything. I never noticed any of what, uh, that was happening to Misa. So my character just straight up didn't like Yoshino, but she doesn't seem like a very pleasant person. Okay, so that is... That's two, because... This... I don't think we got this from Ayaka. Alright, so that's two people. So the people that she's mad at is... Uh, Toma, Yoshino, Satome. Um, there's the dude with the green hair. I don't know if she's mad at him, too. He did say something about, like, this is all my fault, so he obviously did something to Miso as well. Alright, we're definitely gonna save. My character just casually walking around. Oh yeah, we need to get this dude. I don't know how to get that guy out. 
But anyway, so we have... Um, we can use the new tree. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that one got me. I was not expect- I walked by every time without an issue. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Is it because I just say- Oh, what the- <laughs> What? I died by being startled by a telephone. Are you fucking kidding me? Rose was startled by a telephone, hit the wall, and gave a final breath. What? That is the worst one yet. That's just embarrassing. Ugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so now I have to make sure to go around this way. Oh, shit, Misao is here. Hello, we're gonna save. Uh, is there anything I need to do in this room? I don't think so. Um, so, like I was saying before I got startled, I need to go to use the nutrients. I wonder if probably Roll will say anything about like, Hi, why are you all covered in blood? Nope, totally unfazed. Most of the students here live on campus. Commuting students like you are rare, Rose. Me? I dorm, of course. So we got the nutrients. Nothing is budded yet. Okay, so that's not quite doing anything yet. Okay, she said something about getting Toma something to refresh him. Let me just check again with the um, the hints. So I feel like she gave me a lot of hints last time. Okay, so he needs something to be hydrated. And then there's a thing about the code on the bulletin board. Uh, Rose, you're covered in blood. You should find somewhere to wash off. Okay, she did notice. Uh, let's take a look at that board notice again. Adorn white lilies. Okay, I'm guessing that that's what I need to grow in that pot, is the lilies, and then do something with that. And then there's the key items. Okay, so we only have two of six things right now, so I still have a ways to go, apparently. Uh something for him to drink oh yeah there was the uh, there was the vending machine in here so just don't eat the food oh, I don't have money well shit I gotta get money hmm now comes the fun part where I'm like I was doing pretty well about being able to like you know, I, I've been finding things, I've been on a pretty good pace, and now is this this part where I'm just like, well, shit. Now I have to find money so I can get a drink for Toma. And I also have to find a place to wash off the blood. Maybe there's some money. Oops. Maybe there's some money somewhere here. And... Oh yeah, there's this. Don't walk by that. <laughs> So at this point, I'm a little stumped, so maybe you guys can help me out about what to do next. Because I don't want to be spending, like, a half hour wandering around every single room, like, trying to find out what- Oh! Oh! Okay! Didn't even think to go out the door, this is all new. We seek blood. Hey! Well, I have blood. Who needs the blood? Let's check stuff out, even. Whose grave is this? There's no name on it. Your grave. Well, <laughs> damn it. Damn it. Ah, all right. Of course. All right. Sato okay. Whose grave is this? There is no name. Yoshino's grave. So one of those is definitely gonna be Toma's grave. And I bet the other one is going to be uh, the green-haired dude's grave. Ah, this is worth the blood. We desire blood. There we go. Sweet.
Offer up the six keys or the curse shall not be lifted. You don't have all six yet. Well, no. I knew that. Okay, so... We did some stuff, at least. Um, we're getting somewhere, but I'm still stumped about what the heck to do. Oh, I never went in here. I went to the boys' one. There's something in here. Come on. You sense someone, but there's no reply. <laughs> Gross. That's all my character can say. Gross. Let's play. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, hi. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I need to get the... Oh, shit. Let's play. Damn it, I was trying to get around her. Oh, God, to see if I could get that thing. But nope. Well, that didn't work. Oh, no. Did I save? Okay, it's not like I went super far or anything. So we will definitely save beforehand. Oh! I can't save. Interesting. Okay. Well, it's, I guess the quick save won't always save my ass. <laughs> Let's play. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try leaving. Maybe I have to, like, get something to kill her with. Hopefully she won't follow me. Is she gonna follow me? No. Okay, so we'll save. Alright. The thing is, I still I still can't figure out how to run. It's the whole thing, like, they said something about how, like... Am I going faster? I'm using, like, the space bar. I'm going a little bit faster, because it was saying... I thought it said to use, like, the quick save button in order to sprint. But I did, and it doesn't work. So it looks like sprinting. So maybe I just have to sprint right past her. There we go. There we go. Gross. Got the coins. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, you smell awful. Yeah, I stink so bad that not even ghosts wanted to kill me. Yes, I did it. Woo. Okay. We're gonna save because I don't want to do that again. <laughs> okay, so with that, I can now go to this. And I should be able to get... Get a drink. Give that to Toma. Like, for the most part, this game's not too bad. About, like, some sometimes these things are really convoluted, but, like, so far this seems pretty common sense. Hey, what? I picked tea, but it gave me a sports drink instead. Alright, perfect. That will get him hydrated. I love how my character, even knowing... Even knowing that we, we needed to give something to refresh Toma, she doesn't give a shit about him. She just wanted her drink, which is hilarious to me. Alright, so let's go get Toma a drink. I don't even know why I want to save his ass. He's kind of an asshole. I, like, I don't really want to. You giving me that sports drink? Thanks. You know, you're a good girl. And pretty cute. You could be my girlfriend. Dude. No. <laughs> Ugh. Puh. Hey, why is there this weird junk in my drink? Did you do that, Rose? You hate me that much? It wasn't me. Excuse you. But what is this? Looks like a key. Ah, damn it all. Disgusting. I'm going to sleep. Don't wake me. Wow. It's like, you do all the work. I'm just gonna lay here, and I have to solve everything. Alright, so we've got a small key. So, maybe Polyworld can give us a tip about what to use that key for. Did you see the notice? Okay, so the notice... Oh, okay, so... Alright, so we still have to figure out what's going on with that. Um, oh, I didn't... Uh, I don't think the flowers... I don't think we got any luck with the flowers. Hold on just a moment. Oh! We did! Never mind. Got purple lilies. Excellent. Maybe the thing has changed now, the board notice. Okay, so it's saying, though, adorn white lilies. 
But we have purple lilies. Hmm. I'm guessing like white lilies is that in the um, context of flowers is like li white lilies is it something like maybe forgiveness or like putting people to rest or something. I don't think anything has changed. So far, though, I am really, really enjoying this. And from what I know, I don't know much, but, like, Mad Father and this, I think, are sort of, like, connected. I don't know if it's, like, a sequel or a prequel or anything. I don't know, like... I looked it up to see, like, do you know, do you need to play one before the other? And it doesn't seem like it, but there is a connection between them. So I think the next game I'm going to live stream will probably be Mad Father, because I feel like that makes sense. So you guys can let me know. Of the two games, so between Misao and Mad Father, which one do you prefer? Which one do you think is the better game? Because I have to say I'm enjoying this. It's good to get back into these types of games again. It's kind of like a puzzle game. It's like a horror game, but it's not too spooky, actually. Oh, yeah, right, there's this. We'll see if anything changes. Oh, okay, there she is again. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, so nothing different there. And then this way, I believe, is the... <laughs> We're not making that mistake again. <laughs> um, so this way is the laboratory. I still have to figure out a way to get that other dude out. Like... What do I do with this? What do I do with you? How do I get you out? And then, oh shit, I just noticed that this thing too. It's like a floating head. Oh fuck. Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, I should have expected that. <laughs> well, thankfully I saved right beforehand. Oh, maybe the control. Oh, derp. Derp. How did I walk right by that? How did I walk right by that? Uh oh. Um, are you gonna kill me? Aww. Surprisingly, it's not gonna kill me. Okay. It's just following me? Do I have to lead it somewhere? What do I do with you? Are you gonna come with me? We leave. No? I gotta do some- okay, so he's wandering around here. Maybe I have to lead him this way? Come on, dude. Come on. This way. Yeah, I haven't really checked out- okay, so he's not following me this way either. Okay, hmm. Alright, so there's some sort of puzzle here. Oh, I have to kill it. Ah, uh, okay, how do I- I don't have any weapon or anything. <laughs> if I could get him to drink, like, drink the poison or something. Oh! Shit! I forgot about the telephone! No! <laughs> Damn it! Ah! I was supposed to kill him and I accidentally killed myself instead. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Okay, so I have to kill him with something in this room because he won't leave me... He won't let me, like, a test tube sample has escaped. I'm blah, 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 it's a powerful one. I must find it before any damage occurs. What am I supposed to do with you? I mean, I'm glad he doesn't want to kill me immediately. So we have to make sure we don't stay away, away from this. I don't, oh, okay, I can't check these things out. I'm a little stumped, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have to kill this thing somehow. Oh, let's look up salt mandrakes. Made of salt by rubbing them. Well, if I could pet him... Could I use the mandrake balm on him? I don't think so. Um, so, hmm. What do I do with you? I have to rub you, apparently. Oh, 
Didn't mean to do that again. Danger, do not drink. Okay, I can't give him the drink. <laughs> maybe, maybe this girl will kill, will kill him. Maybe? Ah! Nope! Killed me! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> no! Everything in this room is killing me, but not killing him. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. I feel so dumb. Maybe I can get the... <gasps> ah! Yes! Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. Now don't... <laughs> Alright, it's fainted. There we go. There we go. We got it. That took me way too long to figure out. I feel real dumb. Now the thing is, like, what do I do with it, though? I still have to figure out what the key is for, that small key. I was hoping that maybe... Uh, Polyworld would give me, like, a hint about what to do with that key. No, there's nothing here. Oh yeah, I haven't been in here in a while. Anything changed? Oh, <laughs> saved again, didn't mean to do that. Set of paints. Oh, wait a minute, hold up. Because it's uh, it's adorning white lilies. We have purple lilies, so maybe I can just paint the lilies? Would that work? Yeah, there we go. Okay, excellent. Got white lilies. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, 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 um. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, it's following me. It's following me. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, okay. Oh. <laughs> no! Oh, I've been lucky with things like not really chasing me. Well, there's this thing that chases me, but it doesn't really do anything to me. Okay, we're saving. Um, <laughs> okay. Adorn white lilies. Okay. What does that mean, though? What does that mean? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I was thinking at first, I was like, maybe, I was thinking that you had to like fill in the letters here. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let's do this again. So I think it's based on... So you have to put like... Okay, so that is... So if we go from there, okay, so put that, is that what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to like put the lilies there? Nope, that didn't work. I was thinking like maybe you have to put it based on like, or is it the opposite? So it's going from top down like this. Sorry guys, I feel dumb. Uh, okay, so A? No, that doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'm, am I off? Oh, I'm on the right track. Okay, I'm on the, I'm in the wrong classroom. Sweet. Thank you, I was like, oh no. So, I'm trying to think, which other classroom? What other classroom is there? There's the library. That's not it. There's the faculty room. That's not it, obviously. Um, was there another classroom that I'm just... Oh! Uh, wow, I didn't even... Holy cow. I didn't... I didn't go this far. Oh my, fancy meeting you here. I grew curious and came to take a look. As I thought, evil spirits are drifting about. Okay, that's all you have to say? Oh, this is all the, um, <laughs> these are all the deaths, like, wow, there's a, there's a lot of them. I guess that shouldn't surprise me. Uh, can you give me a hint, sir, please? Okay. Oh, save, yes. It's been so long since I've seen them that I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, he can save my shit. Um, okay. 
324 right now. I don't know how much... I feel like there's still a decent amount uh, to do, but... Which classroom? Oh, did I? I didn't even go this way either. Don't look back. Well, that's foreboding. We're gonna save. Whoa! Oh, this is that... Now whenever I hear that song, it's like... Squid Game. <laughs> it's locked. Oh, I have a key! This is what the key is for, please? Yes? Yes? No? It doesn't work! It doesn't work! No! I'm gonna have to turn around. I'm gonna have to turn around. Maybe if I could just... I thought for sure, I was like, I got it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Damn it. I can't believe I've been playing this for like an hour and a half almost, and I'm still finding areas I like totally missed before. Okay, so that key is for something, but it wasn't for that specific room. Oh, underground. Didn't go down this way either. What in the world? Holy shit, sees this place is actually quite big. Smashed boulders block the path. Making things go kaboom is the way to go with things like this. Oh, uh, we have the mandrake bomb. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I have to... Maybe I have to light it with something? Maybe it's kind of like an explosive? There's gotta be something to like make it go off? Okay, so I have to go back to this whole classroom thing. Um, so you guys were saying, like, I had the right idea, but I was in the wrong section. So the classroom was... here, right? Except it wasn't this classroom. I'm trying to think what other classroom is there. I feel so dumb. Which other classroom was there? This is the only one that I can think of. And this is just different sections of it, right? It, like, this is just the same classroom, so it's not like it's two separate ones. Am I missing something here? Hmm. Alright guys, I gotta admit, I'm a little stumped right now. Um, I don't know if Polyroll's gonna give me any more information here. She's probably just gonna tell me the whole thing again about the, um, that notice. Oh! What are you carrying around a salt mandrake for? If it were me, I would take it to the kitchen and clean it. Thank you! Yes! Thank you, Polyroll. Yes! Alright. Helpful information. Okay. Uh, we want to go to the cafeteria. We have to clean it. Oh, as big as a radish. That's right, I did say I'm like, that was kind of a weird thing for it to say. Perfect. Excellent. Got salt. And salt is usually for purifying spirits. There's a couple of spirits around here, but the one I'm thinking of is this whole... Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Have I never been... What the... What the... I never went down this way. These look like classrooms. Okay, save. Save. <gasps> Whoop! I mean, yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, how am I missing all of these rooms? Oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Okay. Bye bye Okay. Classrooms. Classrooms! Yes! Oh, god, we've got a... We've got a couple of things here. Hello? Bats? Yes, please. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm guessing we're gonna have to avoid whatever that thing is there. So A. So that would be here. Oh. A. Excellent. Okay, so the next one was... I don't like the fact that they, that thing can still move around while I'm in 
the um, in the menu. Oh, that's not it. I had the wrong section there. Okay. Let's look at this again. Okay. A, B, C. Is this not it? Maybe I have to approach it from the front. No? I don't know. What am I doing wrong here? Is that not the right one? So C, I think, is down here, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, guys, I feel real dumb. <laughs> you know what? I'll just go to each one. Fine. Whatever. This is the way it's gotta be. That's the way it's gotta be. Oh! Oh, I think... Hold on, hold on. I see what it is. I think it's not based on, like, where the thing... I think it's based on the room, because this is 1A. Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Ah, oh. It's the same... Okay. So that means that there's multiple classrooms, and... <laughs> so that means that there's three... There's two other classrooms. That That's so funny to me. Okay, so apparently it is. Um, so there's other classrooms to go to. So there, that was 1A, so we want 1B. It'd be great if I had a, um, like a map. Can I maybe go... No, I cannot go this way. Um, my thing I was thinking of before that, actually, was I was talking about the salt. And there was the girl who is in... Was it this pathway here? So maybe I can... Maybe I can use that on her. Okay, she's still... She's still showing up. Uh, maybe I can just... Can I just, like, throw that down? Maybe she shows... Cause she shows up here. Um, maybe I can throw this... I can't use the salt for that, I was wrong. Hmm. Because I don't know if, like, this goes anywhere. Like, this... Like, maybe... Maybe as long as this girl shows up, it's an endless hallway. But if I can get rid of her, maybe it would become a normal hallway. I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm so lost. I was doing okay, and now I'm just like, I don't know what to do now. Is it for the spirit in here, maybe? No, she's gone now. So the only spirit I can think of right now is the one that's in that hallway. And then the only other classroom... That's the one about the don't turn around. Um, the only other classroom I've already tried... Try putting it where she is. Okay. So she shows up, like, right... Right there. Let's just look at it again. Okay, so she's right. She appears, like, around this area. So, alright, we'll put this down. You, you got a bat. I think you needed to smash something from a while back. Oh, that's right. What was it? Oh, snap! Uh, it was the... Oh, it was the vase! Oh my gosh, from like the very beginning. Holy shit. Oh, the cla- This classroom. This classroom. I always walk by. I immediately go this way. I am- I am dumb. Ah! Uh, uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? No! I hate that! Oh, there are classrooms here! Oh my god! Oh, no, it's not. But I can use the bat for this. Thank you so much for reminding me about that. I, comple I completely forgot about this vase. This, this is from like an hour ago. Okay. Uh, metal bats. Yeah! Please, please give me something good. Please. Something came out of the vase. Emergency exit key. Okay. Cool. I think that is the key that we needed for the that whole, like, don't turn around thing. Okay, so there he is, the student council room. Um, da, 
to do and escape. Okay, so we still have a couple of issues. We still need to find, there's the two, there's two classrooms that I'm missing here to put those lilies if it's not in the same classroom as that one that I did before. Um, and then there's the situation with that spirit. There's two spirits now. There's the one in the um, that hallway. And then there's this one. Oh, she's gone now. Okay. Oh, well, well, there we go. This is a classroom. Perfect. I forgot all about this one. All right, let's refer to the board notice again. So I guess if we have to assume that that is the... So this is three. Uh, three C. So this would be C is going to be... Damn it, I, I gotta pay attention. Uh, C. So B's towards the back, C's there. Okay. I'm gonna do it once again where I'm just going to just put the white lilies and hope for the best. I might be on the wrong path, you guys can let me know, but I'm like, there's, I have limited um, classrooms here, so. And I'm guessing maybe it's based on where the certain students maybe were sitting, the ones that she's killed? Because I'm pretty sure Misao sat at the back. I gotta admit, I'm a little stumped. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we just need to find the B room. So if we're on... Oh, we're not making that mistake again. No, we are not. Okay, so we're on the third floor, so it's gonna be on... I have to figure out how to get this damn thing here. Whoops. What am I doing? Okay, so we're on the third floor, so it's gonna be somewhere 2F, right? So it's gotta be somewhere here. This is the second floor, because it's gotta be... I'm guessing there was the first floor, second floor, and then there's this one. So it's got to be one of these ones, right? So I'm just going to do this again. That's right, guys. You know, that's how I do my puzzles. I just brute force them. I just keep doing shit until eventually I get it to work like that. Boom. We're waiting on the rooftop. So I was in here, I was in here, and I just didn't put it on the right thing. Shit, okay. I am definitely motherfucking saving. I don't want to do that again. Thank you guys for being patient with me. You were probably pulling your hair out, like, just losing your mind, being like, oh my god, this girl is so dumb. Like, this, this puzzle should take, like, five minutes to do, and I managed to stretch it out into, like, 20 minutes, so... Hey, yes, thank you. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that the uh, lilies were for the three girls that died at the beginning. Thank you for the flowers. We found what you're looking for. Torn ribbon tie. Shoot, I don't know how that helps me. Okay. So we still have the whole thing with the salt. Right? Like, we gotta figure out what's going on with that salt. I'm still guessing it's for that girl in the in the hallway, the never-ending hallway. All right, thank you guys for being nice. Apparently, I'm not the only one who struggled with that puzzle. I appreciate that. To dispel the curse, uh, the salt from salt mandrakes is for cooking, so it has no warding effect. But who knows? A young ghost may be tricked and run away. So it's got to be that girl in the in the hallway. Let's see if she has anything to talk about. Getting sucked into another world has really messed up the school. Who would have thought my room and the library would get connected? It's a match made in heaven, except not. Salt on the bomb. Maybe. They they were saying something specifically about, like, a young, a young ghost. So, um, I think she shows up around here. So, if we put that down. Once again, guys, we're going to brute force our way through this. Hey, there we go. Rose, spread the salt. It feels like the evil spirit has left. Excellent. Okay, we have a music room now. We have a music room. Let's go. New area. Fuck yeah. Fuck no. Body. An evil spirit, but it's not attacking. It's like something attacked it and killed it. 
No one listens when I play. Oh, that's gotta be me, so. Can I sit in a Oh! So she just wants someone to sit in and listen to her play, and maybe it will unlock something here. Ah, true enough, there was also a piano and corpse party, too. Thank you for listening. I'll give you my treasure as thanks. Wait, who are you? You're not Miso. Locked box. <gasps> oh! Uh, maybe that's with a small key? Small key? It seems to fit in the locked box's keyhole. Warding bell. Ooh, that's a good thing to have for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, so... With that, we will move on. All right, it's nice. After that whole issue with the puzzle, with the um, the flowers, hopefully we can get back on track here and we can be nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. The effect of the warding charm seems weak. I don't think it will be much use carrying it around. Although, maybe if it's a weak spirit. Huh. I'm trying to think. What other spirits are around here? Then again, there was that random girl that popped up in one of the classrooms. There's this one, maybe? Are you a spirit? Now it's kind of do some backtracking. Oh, right. There's this spirit. Okay. We're definitely going to save in case this doesn't work. But. Yay! Yay! We did it. <gasps> the warning bell broke. Oh, I can go this way now. This is a new area, too. <gasps> Okay, definitely save. Oh, dolls. Lovely. Do dolls. <laughs> Why is there a room like this in the school? Who made this? It's in the laboratory, so maybe that monster? I doubt it. Are you a person? Are there any alive people here? I don't think so. A doll of a beautiful woman. It's wearing a red blazer that doesn't suit her dress robe. This is our uniform. Don't tell me. Oh, dirty blazer. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, but okay. Oh. Uh, we're definitely gonna save before we interact with this thing. A boy is sleeping here. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Um. That's none thing's eyes just opened. We're gonna investigate it, but I'm gonna save first. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on now. Okay, so. Where to go? Oh, that's right. Um, the emergency exit. Uh, I can go... I should have a key for that now. So, where was that again? Is it this way? I think it was this way. Yes. Save. Yes. Come on, we've got it, we've got it. Right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So I still have the bat with me, it looks like. Okay, open. Oh, no! No! No, I meant to... Why did I turn around? I'm dumb. <laughs> Slip of the finger. Slip of the finger. Oh, I just had to press forward. I didn't have to press enter. Okay, now we're in the gymnasium. Oh, I can't save here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's never good. Ah, this dude. I forgot all about him. Kudo. Rose, you're hurt. Are you alright? A monster got me. I tried to run, but it broke my leg. It hurts. Help. That voice. Miso? Kudo can hear her too. Misa was in pain. Like, he seems to actually care about her, unlike the other people. Damn. 
only I would try to- if only I tried to save Misao sooner. Kudo? Misao and I knew each other since kindergarten. We played together all the time. Starting in middle school, I was teased for playing with a girl. I feared that, so I tried to avoid Misao. Even when I learned Misao was being bullied, I didn't help her. And now... I'm sorry, Misao. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. I'll be there soon. I'll always be beside you, so don't cause any more sadness. Okay, Misao? Oh, hack. Kudo. Oh, shit. Um, uh, We'll try helping. I don't know if it's gonna do any good. I feel like- oh, jeez, I feel like we're both just gonna get crushed by that thing. I think I just died. Kudo, please. Yep. Huh? <laughs> yep. So, he's supposed to die. He's one of the- yeah. He's one of the people that is in the, um, the gravestones. So she needs her sacrifices. She needs two more sacrifices. I'm guessing it's going to be Kudo, and it's going to be uh, Toba will be the last one, because he's the one that she's most angry at. Alright, so we'll just zip through this here. Miso? Miso came to meet me. Now we'll always be together. I love you, Miso. Oh, shit. You've got the wrong idea. Ooh, I never liked you or thought anything of you. Now die. Oof, that seems harsh. Me? Miso! This is awful. Well, at least she seems to genuinely, like, be upset unlike with, um... With the bully girl. Miso. Miso. I'll protect Miso. Wilp. Alright. And with that, I guess we are leaving. But things are picking up now. Ah, damn it. She's still here. But now... I'm gonna make sure I don't make... Mistake. There we go. Let's save. All right. Well. Oh shit. There we go. Because I was thinking, I was like, oh, we didn't have the whole thing with the flashback and with his spirit going away. Oh, he can help me get the item over here. That's right. Please, Miso. I found you. Snapped hair tie. So we've got a dirty blazer, um, a hair tie, and there was like a bow or something? It's my fault. I made Miso suffer. Alright, here we go. Flashback time. That's a real wimpy thing to do. Some man you are. Slandering people in secret online? That's why everyone calls you a loser. She's like, you be like me and you tell people to their faces what you think of them. Th that's not me. Who else writes creepy stuff like that? Want to look over everything you wrote? Because it's really something. You can smell the virginity. Stop right there. Huh? You telling me what to do? Whatever. It's just a waste of time dealing with this guy. Miso, let's go to the cafeteria. Your treat. Huh? I don't have much money. You don't get to say no. What? Oh, uh, I was like, do I have to move my- move the character? No. Miso, I'm coming to you now. Yeah, see, he seems to be the only one who actually shows some, like, remorse for what he did. He, he didn't do much, like, yeah, he stopped hanging out with her, but compared to the other people, it seems like a... Not nearly as bad. Alright, let's talk to Poliwhirl. Maybe we'll check on Toma and see how he's doing. Oh, um, so she's not really, it's just the whole thing with the key items. How many are we have for the key items? Oh, oh, we're only missing one more. I didn't realize that all those things that I got were actually uh, key items. Sweet. All right, guys, we're almost done. We just have one more, whatever that is going to be. Hopefully we're going to be wrapping it up soon. 
Look at him just chilling. I'm doing everything for him. Ugh, that makes me so mad. here in a while. So yes, we're missing one more. <laughs> just one more. He's gonna be probably Toma. I wish I could drag him here. Just... Alright. <laughs> I'll try using the bat on him. Maybe I can just sacrifice him myself and we'll get this over with. Be like, alright, Misao, I see what you're doing here. I I agree. I'm okay with this. Let's, let's give him a good old wake-up call. Damn it, it won't let me use the bat on him. <laughs> oh, you know what? I haven't checked up on the teacher in a while. Maybe he'll have some updated stuff here. Like, maybe he can give me a hint about what to do. God damn it. Okay, never mind. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Uh... This is the part where I'm kind of stuck here. Splat. Nope, she didn't go splat. Nothing here, I don't think, anyway. Alright, I guess we're back to just looking around, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right, there's the, uh, the cave. I gotta figure out what to do with this dude. Can I just, like, maybe I can bonk him? <laughs> I only have the bat. Oh my gosh, it worked! <gasps> I just had to bonk him. I thought I'd have to, like, maybe light him on fire. Wouldn't I blow up? <laughs> that would have been a hilarious game over if it would just been, like, I just bonk him and then just immediately I blow up and die. <laughs> okay, that worked. Shh. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. All right, let's see. Oh, 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 okay. Hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm actually going to get chased here. Shoot. I don't like that idea. Solitary mushroom guides. Okay. Hmm. All right. The solitary. Oh, mushroom. Mushroom. Ah, solitary mushroom. Ah! Ah! What do I do? What do I do? Nah! I wasn't... I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. Oh, do I have to use the bat on it? Maybe? Do I still have the bat? Okay, I do. Alright, let's try that. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Middle bat. Why doesn't that work? Uh, middle bat. Guys, I don't know what to do. I'm panicking, I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. Oh, did I just lock myself in a... What am I supposed to do here? Oh no, I was like, it says the, the solitary mushroom guides. Maybe I just have to go up? Oh, down that way. I was going the wrong way. Okay, okay. Whew. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Muddy boots. Is that our last thing? Yes! We've got all the key items! Hell yeah. Alright, let's hope we can get out of here. And now we can go to the altar. And we can finally put this to rest. Yes! Yes! Alright, we got it guys, we got it. All right, we can finally, hopefully, get uh, see Toma get what's coming to him. All right, it feels like we're coming to the end, I think, just to be on the safe side. Um, should I? I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do like a full-on save, rather than a quick save. Don't worry, we will wrap this up in one go, but there we go. Okay, let's 
let's offer up those keys. Boom. You offered up all the keys to the altar, but nothing happened. Yeah, because I think we're missing Toma. Because only three of the four, uh, things- Oh, I should have made a separate- I should make a separate save? Okay. Hopefully I, I didn't lose my chance to do that. Why isn't anything happening? Okay. Because we're missing someone here. Eh? We're missing Toma. Alright, hopefully I will have the chance. We'll go back, we'll make a separate save here. Oh, okay, I see. You offered the keys at the altar. However, it appears the curse has yet to lift. It seems we will need a sacrifice. That's what I thought. Sacrifice? Did you see the red tombstones outside? Hopefully it won't be me. The spirits of the ones who in death etched their names into the graves must be sacrificed to, fr uh, to free her spirit. There are four tombstones, so there must be four names. Three of them already have names engraved in them. There's one left. Someone must be the last sacrifice. Then I'll, I'll be the sacrifice. That is impossible. Those tombstones are tools born of her hatred. Surely one who has not earned her resentment could not carve their name there. You set out to save her. As such, she could not hate you. There are others still alive. Think one. Uh, think well on who must be the sacrifice. Someone who Misao hates. Hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> pretty obvious. Can I not save with him anymore? Okay, I can. Excellent. So there we go. We'll make a separate save. So maybe I can go and bash, uh, bash his head in. <laughs> Let's go get Toma. Oops. We'll drag him out kicking and screaming. Let's go. I can't think of anyone left but Toma that Misa would have a grudge against. I mean, there's the teacher, too. Who's to say he did say something like... I think he said something about, like, how... Uh, I don't know. But either way, I'm just... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> okay. I'm curious. Let's go see. Because it feels like Toma's almost too obvious, you know? Like, obviously. Then, meanwhile, we've got Mr. Perfect Teacher. Oh, what is it? Is the curse still not lifted? Maybe Misao has a grudge against him. That's right, he did say, like, uh... Maybe... Maybe... Yeah, that's right, when he gave me the hands. It was like, maybe if I had, like, listened to her, she came to me distressed about something and I didn't listen to her. Maybe I could have saved her. Uh, if I sacrifice him. Ooh, interesting. So this is this is why you guys wanted me to... Alright, I will do both. We'll do both. Let's go with Toma first. Because he's kind of like the obvious one. Alright, let's do it. Sacrifice Toma, let's go. Misao, forgive me. Wow, he's actually... <laughs> He's actually saying, like, he has some regret. Apologize in the afterlife. I do get to use the bat on him. Oh, shit. Damn. Well. I love how my character just had no problem doing that. Wait, what? Oh, I've got to go to the, um... Okay. I will make a separate, separate save. So we'll do, like, post... That's post-Toma murder. So now we have to go back to the altar. Mr. Karada, what happened with her? I offered all the keys. Now Misao should be saved. Misao, I bet you know what will happen if you tell. If you don't want those photos from earlier getting out, you better be a nice, obedient girl. Now give her lots of love. Wait, 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 what? What the fuck? Wait. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Is she basically, like, 
whoring Misao out to random dudes? Like, just coming in and having their way with her? Holy shit, she has so much- I can see why my character, like, had no- no love, you know, for her after she died. Stop it, no more. Wow. Wow. Is somebody there? Oh. Oh no. Don't hide. Come on out. Mr. Karada. I feel like he's gonna do something to her as well. What are you doing in here? This is the boys' restroom. Teacher. What's wrong? Oh, this is the thing, like, he didn't listen to her. Wow, wow, wow. Have you calmed down? Yes. Did something happen to you? Please, tell me whatever's troubling you. We can discuss it all that you like. Huh? So then, he did listen to me, so. She visited me the day before she went missing. She had something to talk about, but I was so busy I didn't have the time to listen to her. Oh no, so he lied. So there's a reason he lied about that. I know she was pained. I can't help but feel if I had heard her out. She never would have vanished on us. So that means if he lied about that, then whatever he did was way worse. I'm like, oh fuck, he probably did something to her. Why did Mr. Karata lie about that? Oh, uh, he's probably just like, oh, you had your way, like all the other boys had their way with you, I will too. Is there something you can't tell me? Teacher, I... That creepy smile on his face, I had my heart broken. It's so stupid, isn't it? Shutting myself in the bathroom and sobbing over that? It's not silly at all. I would lament the very same uh, way all night when I was rejected as a youth. You experienced it too, Mr. Karata. You find it odd it would happen to me? Well, it's just that you're so nice and everyone likes you, really. Well, I was a boring and clumsy brat in my student days. I see. Boring and clumsy sounds a lot like me. Oh no, 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 no! Absolutely not. You're a very charming girl. Bad touch, bad touch, bad touch. Teacher? Oh god, he's like smelling her hair. Ugh. You're not like those other idiot girls. Serious, kind, and calm. I adore girls like you. Oh, I let the wrong person live. Fuck. Man, here I was saying that Toma was way worse. I was wrong. I was wrong. Teacher? Miso. Teacher, let go, please. Your hands are so beautiful. The hand thing. This isn't funny, teacher. Did he cut her hands off? <gasps> That's what was in that package, I bet. You're beautiful, Miso. Uh. I bet that's why he, like, his tranquilizer was missing. He probably used the tranquilizer on her, cut her hands off, and he kept them for himself. He probably killed her, didn't he? That's why she went missing. No. Oh, jeez. Miso? Why are you running away? Do you hate me? You just praised me as kind and lovable, don't you? Now come here. <laughs> like, Miso is just why, like... Why is everything going wrong for her, this poor girl? It won't open, why? Because I made it that way, so no one would be able to intrude on us. Please, open up. No, stay away. Welp. Welp. Ugh. He's sawing her hand off, isn't he? I wasn't sure if that was heavy breathing or sawing. I think that was sawing. Mm. Oh god. Oh god, he did. Well, no, she still like she looks like she still has her hands. Why do you all reject me? Why? Never do that to me. Never. Oh Jesus. Do they look like stubs? Maybe he did take her hands. I wonder if that's like what the chainsaw guy represented was like. Oh, there we go. Oh, now you're mine. Shit. Okay, well, I'm glad I made another save. Yep, she doesn't have her arms or her hands anymore. I was joking about him having hands in his drawer. <laughs> God damn it. He's probably gonna kill me too because I've got the, um, I know now that. Look, the sky's back to normal. All thanks to you lifting the curse. I hope my girl pushes him off the fucking roof. Teacher, you killed Miso? I see. So you saw it too, or he's gonna push me off the roof. Is he gonna kill me too? I've got the bat. I've got the bat. Teacher, I, I won't tell anyone. I have to escape. I, I swear, I'll teach? Teach? Well, and... yep. 
God damn. Well, yep, glad I saved. Sniff saw Miho. Just have never even met this girl before. What is it? Aren't you going to go home? Teacher, are you crying? You can tell me anything. I let the wrong person live. I had a fight with my friend, and I apologized, but she said she wouldn't be my friend anymore. I see. That's distressing. Maho is the only one I have. Without Maho, I'm all alone. Don't be down. With time, I'm sure she'll forgive you. Lift your spirits. Crying in here won't change anything, now will it? Yeah. Now it's getting dark. You should go home. I'll take you there. No! No, I let, like, a serial rapist slash murderer go free. <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow, that was rough. You know, it's funny. I thought, like, I was gonna be doing, like, the true ending. Uh, because it seemed like Tomo was the was the one that then the, the, that's the way that the game wanted you to think was like clearly that's the person that's supposed to die. I should know it's the opposite. It's like it pick the person that's like the least likely one to be like the actual bad person because like they made him out to be the perfect teacher, perfect you know like all nice and stuff and everybody like loves him, and then Toma's like the obvious bad person. Okay. Well, I feel like this is the better way to go, right? You get the bad end first, and then you get, like, the quote-unquote the true ending. Okay, so this was the one I believe before I killed Toma, if I'm not mistaken. So, all right, well, now that I know the truth about him, I'm like, let's fucking go. Let's destroy this man. No hesitation. It's funny, too, because, like, Rose, like, my character won't even... She'll be like... This feels wrong to, to kill the teacher just because you didn't listen to Miso. <laughs> uh, the blood won't stop. Sir, it's all right. You'll have relief soon. <laughs> Quite the difference between um, before where she was just like, you know, like, fuck you, Toma, you deserve this, I'll see you in hell. Whereas, like, the teacher's like, I'm gonna put an end to your suffering, because she doesn't know the truth. Toma, I heard from the glasses chick, you've done everything you need to do. What happened? I offered all the keys. Now, Misao should be saved. Misao, I bet- okay, so this is... So we'll probably get the same thing, like, we'll still see what happened to the teacher. With the teacher and Miso, and be like, wow, I'm really glad that I killed him. Skip ahead, skip ahead. I don't think there's going to be anything new about this. So while we're going through this, I can ask you guys, uh, since, you know, we've got some time to kill. So in comparison uh, to this game, is Mad Father, is it about like the same length of time? Is it a little bit longer? Is it shorter? Just so I, I have an idea if it's something that I could finish like in one live stream, or if it would be something that might be longer. So this will be different from here, because it's Toma and me. That Mr. Karata killed Misao? 
school's back to normal he's like i guess he didn't know what was like what just happened misao's calling me hey where are you going oh god i'm gonna dig her up <laughs> Misao, I found you. Thank you for finding me. Misao. So is this the end? The sky's getting brighter. Misao, you must be free from your suffering. Nope. Okay, so this is like the post stuff. This is the student council room, right? I really should tell o uh, Onigawara thanks. I wonder if he's in. Yeah! What are you standing around there for? Um, is Mr. Onigawara there? Onigawara who? Onigawara, the student council president. What the hell are you going on about? I'm the student council president. There's no Onig uh, Onigawara in the student council. Uh, now we got them. We got all the missing students. Everything has gone back to normal except for everybody not being like missing students. Ayaka, Yoshino, and the rest are gone. So is Mr. Karada, who killed Misao. But no one seems to care. Oh, it is like Corpse Party, which is like people just don't remember these people even existing. The only one I feel bad about is, and of course, like the the asshole Toma. He managed to survive. Ayaka, like, she was fine. All she she had a crush on the teacher. She did nothing wrong. I feel bad that she had to die. Were the people who died in the other world erased from existence? Like, like why did she have to die? Oh, thank you, uh, Reno Ichiban. Uh, thank you so much for the donation. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, the playthrough. Were the people who died in the other world erased from existence? But I'll never forget what Yoshino and Mr. Karada did to Misao couldn't possibly be forgotten about. I wonder if Miss Mr. Onigawara died in the other world too. No, I doubt it. I haven't seen Onigawara or Polyworld since. I don't know what happened to them. They sure were strange people. You there, face front and pay attention. I I'm sorry. Misa was still missing, and her body I found vanished without a trace. Maybe she'll never be found. But that's all right. Misa was smiling in the end. I'm sure she's freed of her pain. I'm glad, Misa. Oh, there's more? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Misa just, like, staring at Toma. That's creepy. Okay, so some people are saying that there's post-game stuff going. How do I get that? Because, like, I feel like... Is there a way from... Because, like, I did the I, the bad ending, and then this seemed like the kind of, like, the standard ending. So I'm not sure how to get... To, maybe it's going to be after the credits. Maybe there will be some more stuff here, since I got, like, what I assume is, like, the good ending. Because this is just right. Okay, so by getting this ending, I apparently I unlocked something. All right, guys, we'll strap in. I mean, <laughs> damn... Okay, this is already... This is a long live stream for me, but we're not done yet. Oh, truth. Okay, well, let's check out the truth. Hopefully it's not too long. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I've... Okay, we gotta... Gotta have the same, same name, of course. Alright, we'll see. Strange, where did it go? Oh, this is like before everything happened. Um, what is it? Miso, she spoke to me. That's a first. Just dropped a contact. I think it's around here somewhere. Miso? Um, I'll look with you. Thanks. Miso never got much attention in our class, but she was really nice. Why did all that have to happen to such a kind girl, right? Like, poor thing. She didn't deserve all that. Rose. Someone's calling me. I've heard this voice before. 
What the? Okay, well, this is different. <laughs> where went, uh, Where am I? I was just in class. I was nodding off in class, and then, then what happened? What the heck is going on? Rose. Onigawara? That's you, right, Onigawara? Mr. Uh, Mr. Onigawara. Other world, dark space. This is... Mr. Or Why do I have such trouble with his name? My goodness. Mr. Onigawara. It's been a while, Rose. Mr. Onigawara? Why the heck did you call me here? Well, you see... I thought I would offer liberation to the spirits that had to be sacrificed. Yoshino and the rest? You can do that? But why? That girl, Misa, went a bit too far. Indeed, what they did to her was unforgivable, but her death was not their fault. They also suffered their fair share. I think it is too cruel to allow that suffering to continue. As such, I have decided I will free their spirits. If you do that, will everyone come back to life? I'm afraid that's not possible. However, if their will to live is strong enough, they could possibly be born again. Will you try to save them, Rose? I leave the choice up to you. But why me? Why not Toma? He's friendlier with everyone. I'm confident you are the only one who can save them. It is who you are that makes you capable of it. Interesting. So we've got three. Because I was like, mm, I don't think that... Uh, I don't know if I want to save the teacher. I'm hoping that these three here, these are the students. Because, like... Uh, I mean, Yoshino, she was pretty nasty. I don't know if she deserves redemption. I'm like, what's this, though? Can I still save? Oh, no, I can't save here. Okay, I can. <laughs> good, good, good. I'd be like, ah. So I can give them redemption, huh? Kudos, grave. Like, this guy seemed totally... Like, he didn't deserve that. The girlfriend, yeah, like, I don't know, kind of annoying that she was in on, like, bullying... Uh, Misao by like going along with like the whole like Toma pretending to be her girlfriend stuff, but still. Ha, dumb old Misao. Don't you bully Misao. Aw oh, man, here comes a pain in the butt. What are you doing bullying Misao again, Takeshi? Misao, it's okay now. There, there. I took care of Takeshi. Don't cry. Okay. Let's go home. I'll protect you on the way. Oh, so cute. You were so kind then, but you changed. Are Toma and Misao dating for real? I sure looked like a school date at lunch today. I, I saw him. I never saw Misao smile like that before. Oh, jealous. Like, all the times he's just like... All the times I helped her out and she never smiled like that for me. Oh, Misa, let me see you for a sec. No. Why not? You giving me lip? How? You know it will happen, yes? And that's what happens when you try to date Toma. He's jealous that she wasn't interested in him, so he just let her get bullied. So, kind of dickish, but... You abandoned me. I trusted you. I won't forgive you. Where is this? Oh, can I? Okay, I gotta move. Oh. Stop it already. Die. The likes of you should die. Spineless. Die, die, die. Forgive me, Miso. Die in a fire. Burn in hell. Stop. Stop. Die. I hate you. Die a virgin. Kudo, wake up. Kudo is useless. Die already. Miso, please stop. I'm sorry. So sorry. Kudo, please, come back with me. Forgive me. There is no point moping about it forever. If only I had saved Miso sooner. It's my fault. All my fault. No, it's not your fault. But it is. Miso loathed me. This is utmost proof of that. It's all me to blame. Kudo. No, these girls aren't Miso. They're just illusions born from the darkness of your heart. What nonsense. What do you base that on? Because Miso's so nice. She wouldn't say these things. Don't you know that yourself? 
Miso. It's like they're in their own kind of hell where it's just like they're kind of punishing themselves and until they accept it and just like, I guess, let it go, then they're just going to be stuck in their hell forever. Miso. Kudo. Miso? Miso? Kudo. I'm a little embarrassed to use your first name. I just haven't done it in so long. I'm sorry, Kudo. No, I should be apologizing. It's my fault, you- It's fine. I don't hate you. Why? I mean, didn't I abandon you? Yes, it was very lonely. I suffered like I was going to die. But I know how you felt, Kudo. You just lacked courage. I knew that, really. You were always thinking of me. And that made me happy, regardless. Miso, thank you for thinking of me. I love you too, Kudo. Was that Miso who appeared in front of Kudo, the real one? I wonder if she was just an illusion of Kudo's, too. Wah! <laughs> okay. Oh, he's like a baby? Oh, they did say about, like, they, they would be reborn. Yoshino. Ugh, I don't know if I want to, like, mm. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I guess. I don't know if she necessarily re re deser or deserves redemption, but... Oh, okay, I have to move around. You sense a presence. Oh, shoot, I was like, maybe I should have saved. I can't save here. I hope I don't- I can't die in, like, this kind of post-game stuff. The door won't open. Open up! Misao, don't be a bad girl. If you keep being good, I'll let you out, okay? No, stop. Stay away. I'm scared. It's dirty. It hurts. It's gross. Ow, ow, ow. Never forgive. Never forgive. Okay, maybe we'll try this again. Can I leave? Okay. Oh shit. Forgive me. Forgive me, Miso. No! Ah. I think she deserves this. <laughs> you can't get away with what you did to Miso, Yoshino. This is your punishment, she says with a smile on her face. Like a stone cold... <laughs> like, just badass. But I know you've suffered plenty yourself, so I'll free you. Miso, won't you stop now? I understand how you feel, but Yoshino really regrets it. I guess that didn't work. She's like, oh well, I tried. Bye. <laughs> if only I could find something to stop Miso with. We got some shiny things over here. A metal bat. Coins. Salt. Do I just, like, throw the salt on them? Get a load of this. Nope. Can't do something so awful as sprinkle her with salt. I better think of something else. Coins? So I just throw our coins at her and be like, Go, get it. <laughs> look, we saw money! Like a dog. Like, go get it! Nope, she didn't even look. What a shame. I guess I'll have to keep these coins for myself. Can I throw the coins in here? No. <laughs> I love how I was like, I can't use salt, so I'll use a bat on her instead. Misao, stop it. <laughs> I love the salt was, like, too harsh for her, but I can bash her with a- I guess that's just the way that my girl works. Yoshino doesn't look like she can speak. Forgive me. Forgive me. Yoshino, it's fine now. No, no, stop, stay away. Sniff. Yoshino, I sure hope this has taught you not to be a bully, or else. I'll come at you with the bat. I won't, I swear I won't. Forgive me. I'm sure Misao will forgive you too. Let's head back together. Why? Ooh. Why are you getting in my way? I thought you saved me. I thought you were my only friend. Yes, I've always been your friend, Miso, but letting you do this wouldn't be saving you at all. Oh! OMG, it's a pancake! Thank you so much! Five dollar donation! Thank you very much for that, I appreciate that. What are you... Miso, you haven't passed on yet. If you keep doing this, you'll never be able to. Shut up. 
Listen, Miso, will doing this really clear up your heart? Quiet. Of course it won't. If it did, you already would have ascended. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Stop this, Miso. You're just being vengeful. I don't want to see you like that. Silence. Well, I guess she didn't forgive quite as, uh, quite as easily as with Kudo. All right. I don't think it really matters for this, but we'll do another save just in case. This is going to be uh, Satome. We didn't really get much information on her, did we? She died so fast. Like, she was the first one to go. She seemed like she kind of just got caught up in stuff. It has to be Yoshino and her lackeys who put Misao's text on the blackboard. They're the lowest of the low. But Misao's kind of gross, too. I feel bad for Toma having to read that putrid poem. It's Misa you should feel sorry for. I thought the poem was cute. Oh, Toma, you're just too nice. Oh, she's playing like she's Miss Nice Girl while she was the one who did put, like, the text up. Oh, shit. Oh, did she hear us? Uh, I forgot my handkerchief. Misa, did you forget your handkerchief? Huh? I'll lend you mine. Satome, just give it back, you know, whenever. Liar. Trying to act like a goody two-shoes. You were the one who put up my text for all to see, weren't you? What an awful girl. She must have tricked Toma. It's just so sad that all of these girls, like, they still have faith that Toma's just not like a total douchebag. It smells like floral mint. At least it's not gross like before. Door won't open. Why? Break down the door. You can't break it barehanded. Okay. Oh, yes. Hello, my old friend. <laughs> she becomes very well acquainted with that bat. <laughs> no, okay. I have to actually write. <laughs> She's like the Terminator with that bat. Just... Man, oh man. Open wide, Toma. Tasty. You make the best lunches, Otome. You'd make a great wife. Mine, obviously. Aw, Toma. I won't give you Toma, Satome. Toma is all mine. Toma. Miso. What? My Toma. Uh, Toma, let's go now. Toma? Miso. Miso's the only one for me. Toma. Toma, you're kidding, right? What the fuck? You told me this Miso thing was just a game. My bad, Otome. I lied. I love Miso. Like, what? <laughs> I'm so glad, Toma. This must be in, like, Satomi's, like, this is, like, the thing with, um, with Kudo, where it's just, like, this is all in her head, and she's imagining, like, the worst possible thing. That can't be right. Toma! You don't get it, do you? Toma likes me. You're the one who's just for fun. Miso, you're the one for me. And you're my Toma. I love you. <laughs> no! Stop. No! Get your hands off, Toma. Satome. Oh, uh, I have to step in. Okay. Satome, stay with me. No, open your eyes, Toma. You need to get a grip, Satome. What do you see in Toma? He's all appearance, right? You're wrong. Toma's cool and kind, and he always protects me. <laughs> yeah, about that. Think back to when you were attacked at the computer room. Toma deserted you. Toma wouldn't just desert me. He... Stay away. Atome. Toma, help. <laughs> Ran like a bitch. Toma... Toma left me to die. I'm glad that they're finally seeing him for what he is. Rose, can I have the bat? Oh shit. I don't need you, Toma. I hate you. Toma. Toma, you can just... Get out of my life. Alright, well that's all of them, so... Well, it's not though. We're missing someone, aren't we? Be careful, the spirit of the man who killed Misao is sealed up ahead. I knew it. Something on the ground. This is Ayaka's hairpin. Oh yeah, Ayaka. Poor, poor Ayaka. That's me and Ayaka. Oh, that's- like, we never really got to see what happened with her. Well, shit, now, knowing, like, the whole thing with, like, uh, the teacher being, like, a, a murderer. He probably... 
I said it, didn't I, guys? I said it before where it's like when I walked in on them and she was like, get me away or something or help me. And he was like, oh, it's it's the monster. She got um, She's like panicking because like a monster. He probably was totally like about to do something to her. And then, then he wanted the tranquilizer. So yeah, he probably did like, because she was dead, right? I was like, he probably killed her. No way, not until I see it all. And I haven't even looked in the bottom drawer. You can pass off it up the opportunity, but I won't. So we could see all the stuff that happened afterwards. Fine, what do I care? I'm glad that we get some closure with Ayaka, because we just totally, like, didn't see anything. This is Rose's stationery, no mistake. That Rose, she says, what do I care? But then out comes a love letter to teach her. Well, let's see what kind of juiciness is in this sucker. This is a cursed letter. If you don't send this to five other people in a week, you will be cursed. All right, time to check out the Lord, your hurt hands. She probably found the bag of hands. <laughs> and he probably caught her. Hmm? Yes! He... I called it! I said hands in a drawer! I was bang on. Oh my gosh. W what? Are these arms? In Mr. Karata's desk? Why would... Are these real? It can't be. It can't be. Okay, so when she was having that panic attack, it was probably like he found her rummaging in her stuff. And like she's still freaking out from that. Don't touch that. Oh shit, yeah. Good, still not rotten. Your body truly is miraculous to stay fresh for over three months. All the more to love. Ugh. Ugh. This guy's nuts. And you, you saw my secret. No, 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 no. You can't escape. Yep, I got you. There's no running away now. About earlier. You won't tell anyone, will you? It's a secret between us. No, no, no. I see. That's unfortunate. Then I'll have to kill you. And I walked in right then. Ayaka and Mr. Karata. Uh, help. Ayaka? Calm down. The monsters are gone, Ayaka. What happened to Ayaka? She's in a panic after being attacked by a monster. No, don't let him fool you. He was trying to kill me. You were attacked? This is why I told you to escape somewhere safe. Hold on, she should stay here and rest. Ah, uh, my creepo meter was like bang on with this dude from the beginning. I was like, there's something off about him, but don't worry, I'll be with her. All right, I'm counting on you to look after Ayaka. I'll look around here somewhere. Oh, my character's got to feel so guilty. Like, because I left, he probably killed her right after. No, wait, don't go. Wait a moment. I think I have a tranquilizer on my desk in the faculty room. Could you bring it to me? It may help her calm down a little. Be careful. Don't you die on me. After all, you are one of my dear students. Don't let him trick you like this. Sir, thank you very much. Wait, Rose, don't go. Help, help. Now then, no one to get in my way. My legs are too weak to run. Think you can get away from me? Help, help. Did he take her hands too? I can't remember. Idiot girl. It would be suspicious if only I was unhurt. Oh, that's right. So he just stabbed himself, but lightly. Lightly. Or cut himself. Mr. Karada killed Ayaka. I'm so sorry. I didn't notice Ayaka. But that's strange. Why didn't Misao's body rot? That is also the power of her curse. Even in pieces, she desperately tried to live. She was very much attached to the living world. All right, I guess the final one here. Uh, actually, um, oh, can I get out of here? Okay, I'm gonna save just in case. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna touch it. Where is this? The screen's lit up. I was satisfied at first. I enjoyed being loved by all, but suddenly it was all hollow. 
It wasn't me who everyone loved. It was my mask. Oh, I'm playing as him. I see. Mr. Karat is totally the best. A little mysterious, but that only makes him even better. Lucky Ayaka having him for homeroom. I'm so jealous. Mr. Karata, you're just so beautiful. He's got a great face, way prettier than any of the boys. And his personality's killer too. Totally, kind and reliable. That's his biggest charm. He's not all appearance. Damn it, everyone- Oh, so he just missed the whole thing about like his personality, but even so, he was saying about how it was all a lie. Everyone always goes on and on about appearance. Those idiotic girls. This isn't my face. Does he like put on someone else's skin or something? <laughs> like, what? I know that's probably not what it means. It's just like he puts on like the, the nice appearance, but I love the idea of him actually just having someone else's face he drapes over himself. Found a yearbook. Oh yeah, it looked quite different. Karata? Could this be Mr. Karata? So, either he took someone else's face, or, like, he just had a, you know, ugly duckling to swan moment as he got older. It happens. Why'd you even come to school, Karata? Ugh, it's Karata. Just you being here stinks up the class. Go home, maggot. He does look very tired, doesn't he? She dropped her handkerchief. Should I give it to her? Um, huh? What? What is it? You dropped your handkerchief. No way, ew. Karata touched it. Huh? Don't touch my things with those filthy hands of yours. I'm sorry, I'll give it back. I don't want it back now. You're gross. Karata, you jerk. You're making girls cry. You're the worst. Don't even bring your grubby mitts to school. Oh, you guys are saying that it's a... Okay, he got, like, surgery for his face. <laughs> I love my idea. Come on, I feel like that tracks with him. I wouldn't be surprised if he cut off someone's face and stuck it on him. <laughs> All right, well, we've got a girl who seems to be... Oh, maybe that's why he kind of, like, became obsessed with Misa. We've got a girl there who seems to maybe see him for the his real self and actually wants to talk to him and hang out with him. No one accepts me. Was this teacher's past? No one accepts me. Got a kitty. Kitty. Meow. We got a flashback about the cat, too. <laughs> oh my gosh, we do. Why? Why does everybody reject me? I hate it. I can't stand it. A cat? Cat? Is it a stray? It's wounded. You look so frail. I need to get you to a hospital. Hang in there. I'm going to help you. I'm sorry, but she's beyond saving. No. Well, well, so much for that. Damn. I'm sorry. If only I'd found you sooner. Maybe I could have helped you. No one ever accepts me. That's what I thought, but she was different. So maybe he saw, like, Miso in that girl, this girl here, Takano. You really gonna eat in a place like this? Loser. This dump is the perfect place for a Karata, huh? You said it. Hey, say something. You're lame. Let's go. Are you okay? Takano? Do you mind if I sit with you? Huh? It's okay if you don't want me to. Sorry. No, nothing like that. So, I can? Yeah. What do I do? What do I say? Takano's not saying anything either. Why did Takano talk to me? 
Takano's hands are so pretty. Oh god, <laughs> I want to keep them. Hey, do you always eat lunch here? Uh, yeah. I see. It's nice here. It's quiet and calming. I guess it is. Yeah. Sorry. What is it? I couldn't do anything when you were being teased. Don't. Hey, can I come again tomorrow? Uh, we should eat lunch together from now on. Huh? If you eat with me, you'll just be teased. I don't mind. I've decided I won't back down. I was feigning ignorance out of fear. I always turned away from reality. But I'm going to stop now. From now on, I'll protect you, Karada. What? Am I bothering you? No, that's... You're not, but... But... It's surely... You can't. If you got teased because of me, I mean, I'd feel guilty. And having a girl protecting me, I'll just be teased more. I guess so. I'm sorry. But I really appreciate the thought. Well, sorry for bringing it up. No, it's... Still, it won't change that I want to protect you, Karada. Come to me anytime you're in trouble. I'll help you with anything. Takano. Thank you. Hey, I want to know you better, Karada. Hmm, what is her plan? Seems a little bit too good to be true, huh? She was the first, the first to accept me. I was so, so happy. But something happened, obviously. We met there every day afterward. We didn't talk to each other. We just spent time together. Conversations weren't necessary. My heart was at ease with her there. We were happy. Until... The cloud looks like a sheep. So it does. It's cute. Yeah. Takano's smiling. She's cute, too. I loved her hands, and her voice, and her smile. I fell for her, my first love. I love Takano. Yes, I do. I really do. I love her. Love, love, love. Didn't he say something about how when he was a kid he had his heart broken too? So something obviously happened there. Takano. Hmm? Karada? What's going on? Let, let go. Takano. I love you. What? So, I love you. I love you, Takano. Oh, yeah. Ta- You creep. Huh? I'm sorry. Why? I thought you accepted it. Or accepted me. Why? But why? Dude, just because a girl, like, you know, wants to hang out with you doesn't mean it has to be romantic. That was... Yeah. Look, I'm really sorry. I wasn't getting close to you with, you know, that kind of intention. I just felt bad for you. Oh, that's even worse. It was just like, I was just hanging out with you because I feel sorry for you. Sorry, it's nothing. She's still apologizing. Um, but I can understand her point of view too. We should stop meeting here, okay? Huh? No, no. Why? Why? Why won't anyone accept me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, why? Why won't anyone accept me? Karata, stop. Why? Why? Somebody help! Karada, what are you doing? No one accepts me. No one. You think I'm disgusting too, don't you? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, that sounds pleasant. Jesus. So he just saw, like, Misao probably was just like the, um, was just like Takano all over again, him being rejected. And he just went nuts. Why? Why does nobody accept me? Why? 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 Teacher. My face. I thought if I changed my face, that would change too. And yes, things did change. It was a complete turnaround. Everyone welcomed me. I was accepted by others at last. I was happy, but I soon realized it wasn't me who people were welcome to. It was this face. It was like, uh, somebody in the comments said, uh, like, 
if he had just stuck around for an extra 10 seconds to hear the girls talk about his personality, then none of this would have happened. Nobody looked inside me. It was always, always my appearance. This fabricated face. This isn't me. It's not me who was loved. Just this fake face. Never been loved for me. He's gonna cut off his, is he gonna cut off his face? That's not true, teacher. Everyone always said that Mr. Karada is a kind and reliable teacher. Everyone? And I know it too. That you're a nice person at heart, Mr. Karada. Even though things went astray as he's next to a dead body that he cut off her hands and, like, stabbed her multiple times. And I like that about you myself. What? Oh, no, dude. No, no, no. Teacher, you don't have to be sad. Everyone, we all loved that kind of teacher of ours. I don't think he I don't think he deserves this redemption myself, but okay. Oh, the kitty! Sleeping peacefully. This kitty was happy being cared for in its last moments. Okay, so we do have this other thing here, so I'm assuming we're gonna be getting to, like, the end. The end, the end for, for reals this time. Mr. Onigawara? Take this. It's a hand mirror. I think it may prove useful. I wonder what for. Oh, Toma's grave. Wait, Toma's in here? So Misa was haunting Toma to drag him to the other world. That's right. All right. Touch it. There's no going back. Well, thankfully I saved. So we're going to do this. We're going to finish this off, guys. Damn, I've been playing for almost three hours. This is wild. I did not think it was going to be this long. Misao. Stay back. The others can go free, but I won't give you Toma. Why fuss over Toma? Toma was just playing you- I mean, I love how she's keeping him. Maybe she's just still obsessed with him. I know that, and I hate him for it, but Toma... I hate him so much, yet I love him. It's strange. Okay. Because I was thinking, I was like, really? You hate Toma more than the, the man who, like, killed you? If you love Toma, then free him for his sake. Rose, you love him too, don't you? I... I had an idea. Rose, you should stay here too. We can share him. Oh god, I'm sure we can get along here. The three of us, happy together. That... No, I can't. Toma. Huh? Ah, monster. Toma? It's just me, Miso. I'm not a monster. Gah, go away, monster. Toma. We can't live happily together. Miso, look at yourself in this mirror. How do you think you look? It can't be. This is me? No, no, Miso. No, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Why? Why does all of this happen to me? What did I ever do? Tell me. Miso. I wanted to live a full life. I wanted to be happy with someone. I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm scared. I'm here for you. I'll be by your side. We can't have three, but I know us two can be happy. Rose, why would you- Am I gonna, like, sacrifice myself and stay- Stay here with her in this world so she's not alone? Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends? Yeah, friends. Or maybe she'll finally be at peace and she can leave and... Rose, we'll always be together. <laughs> she- <laughs> Then Misa's like, we will! Stab, stab, stab. Yeah. Aw, that's pretty cute, actually. Rose, thank you. Miso. Huh? Was it a dream? Aww. No, it wasn't. Miso, I'll never ever forget you. So the other people are still dead, but they've been like reincarnated as babies. So they're sort of alive? Alright, so there we go. Um, I'm assuming that's it's unless there's like an extra extra thing <laughs> that uh, 
I don't know about. So Toma managed to survive. Of all of them, he was the one who survived. Like, yeah, he's a douche, but... Oh, we've got... Okay, so we've got the aftermath of, uh... Mr... Oh, I... You know, I only said his name how many times, and... <laughs> now she's in love with him, too. She's got, like, a new person to obsess over. Okay. So there you go, you guys, you guys were saying about, like, who's gonna take care of the babies, so they're all gonna stay in that world. And take care of the babies, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, that's good, Polly World's got herself some friends now. <laughs> that can never leave. Alright. That was sweet. I'm glad I did that last little bit. Okay, so there we go. That looks like that is the end. That's gonna do it for my live stream of Misa. I'm glad I got to do this all in one go. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much. You guys were like super, um, like, like the chat was just flying through this whole thing. You guys were just very interactive and it was a lot of fun. I really like this game. Glad I finally got to play it. I think the live stream was a fun way to do it. Both because it was nice to have, like, that immediate feedback from you guys, and also, honestly, because you guys helped me out at some points where I was very stuck. Uh, so that will do it for this. So next time, I, next live stream, I'm gonna be, I think I'm gonna be doing some Mad Father. I think, oh! Well, thank you, George, for the $10 donation! Thank you so much! Alright, really appreciate that. Um... Yeah, so anyway, uh, so yeah, I think we're gonna be doing Mad Father next week, and because you guys said it is longer in this one, Holy cow! OMG, it's a pancake! $20! Thank you! Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing! Wow, wow, wow! Thank you so much for that! I really appreciate that! Holy cow! Um, yeah, I... What was I gonna say? Mad Father, next week, we're gonna live stream that. And that's probably gonna be, uh, a two... two-parter at least, since you guys did say it's longer. And this one was almost three hours long, so... It was a long one, guys, but thank you for sticking through with me to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time with this. It was good to get back into an RPG Maker uh, game again. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, too. We're going to be doing more of these, for sure. You guys gave me some other recommendations uh, for other games, so I will keep those in mind. So keep an eye out for my... Uh, on my web or my website, um, notifications for my channel, and that way you guys will know when my next live stream is. Uh, so yeah, next week, Mad Father, we're going to be doing that. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. Thanks again for tuning in with me. And uh, yeah, we're going to be playing some more RPG Maker games for sure. So have a good night, guys. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, 